the last episode of A House Divided, the party successfully tracked down Regulus and continued their hunt for shadow crystals by battling shade beasts in the Raven Tree Estate's shadow realm. Now they have collected enough crystals, they then ended up being reunited with Timnus, who showed them how to travel between the shade and the fey versions of the house. Back in the fey version, they rested and then spoke with Vostalas, who fixed the portal for them in the library. Now the party has returned to the material plane for the first time in a while, now hoping to uncover the truth behind the mysteries of the Raven Tree state. Alright everyone, so yes we are here, you are reappearing on the other side of the portal, now in what you believe to be the material plane, the broken version of a library similar to what you've seen in other, in two other places is, is, is before you, you're on the balcony on the second floor. Uh, but yeah, you are back here again, and probably surprising to no one, uh, there appears to be no Regulus among you. God damn it, whose turn was it to babysit him? For God's sake. I thought someone was holding his hand. I thought that would be Mona, since she's the one who's supposed to be protecting him. Uh, I'm not magical, I can't hold on to him while going through a portal. Just feel like you're failing in your job here. Like, you've lost I, him twice. I failed at my job as soon as we went to a different plane. I came here to kill some <laughs> some ghosts. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> yeah, you, you've, you've definitely felt like you've been on the uh, on the back foot uh, uh, for a while, Mona, when it comes to that, when that comes to that kind of thing, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, is, um, is Regulus on the same plane as me? Because I remember putting uh, this brand on him and I can see if he's on the same plane. Oh, that's uh, fun. I, that's very good. That's very fun. Uh, right now, no, he does not appear to be on the same plane. You are aware of that through your uh, through your link, shall we say, as this is all uh, as this is all kicking off. Oh, he's ended up in a different plane again. Or perhaps he is just uh, between planes, and he will show up later. Uh, that seems to be the case with him. Yeah, he's definitely implied a couple of times that he's not, um, he's been somewhere voidless. You you guys have seen that sort of the in-between space before you, uh, uh, Usk managed to pull you through the first time. Certainly most of you have seen that kind of void. Um, but yeah, he seems to spend more time in it than everybody else by a, <laughs> by a, by a long shot, if that makes sense. Um, but yes, however, you are here, you are back in, uh, what appears to be, uh, yeah, the library balcony once more. Uh, you can definitely see uh, the remnants of a library below you, uh, a, a hell of a mess. The stairs that would normally be that you've seen from other areas that would lead down uh, seem to be missing in this version of the estate as you're as you're actually looking around. But um, yeah, it's uh, definitely definitely a thing. But uh, yeah, you are in the material uh, from what you can tell. It certainly looks like the material from a uh, from an initial kind of. Uh, thought compared you're also seeing over the uh over the actual windows those strange vines that um that astra has seen previously uh, on on the outside that were of interest they're all still there growing up the outside of the building looking very much like the shadow some of the plants from the shadow version of the house uh as this is all going on still blocking a lot of the light and uh you know, plenty of destruction around you all as this is all going on uh, and the portal's still open in front of you. Uh, it seems that the uh, the way is now clear between these realms. You can move freely back and forth if you if you so wish. You can yeah, you can travel as you need. So that problem is solved for now, according to Vostalas, anyway, and and how much you believe him. Right. Now, so when I when I was separated from you before uh, in the garden, some um, Usks kept me appraised of your travelings and the material plane house uh, I don't think we have ever been here before right not this not room no not we this room no through. I mean you, you yeah you came into the house uh, before that's definitely true um but yeah you've not been here much if that makes sense you uh, you basically almost went pretty much through the kitchen straight to the dining room and then went oh let's just jump through a portal and go <laughs> uh, <laughs> As would you probably do. would would probably about some uh, sum up the uh uh, the way things have worked out uh, um, previously on that front. So yeah, you've not done, you've done incredibly little exploring of um, of the material version of this house, the or to some the real version of this house. Um, but yes, uh, you are certainly back in the right in your right plane of existence. Faircomb is yeah out there, not not too far off in the distance in theory. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you are at the moment looking at a very, a very shoddy looking library right now uh, in uh, in a hell of a state. Well, without uh, the young lord with us, um, I know that Varia can't see in the dark. Would anyone else require light? I look at I, uh, Mona because I don't know, honestly, what's up with her. I, I I could use some light, but I could also do some light of my own if, if it need be, instead of well, you wasting a spell. Oh, no, it is it's no, of no consequence to me. The, the Thanda provides, and uh, I will uh, cast light on my holy symbol. Actually, I'll cast it on my shield because shit happens here. So uh, if I could be um, emitting light, please. There you go. No problem. Yeah, easily done. As the uh, yeah the glow of light uh, coming off of the shield starts to uh, to brighten brighten the space a little better, and you start to see a little bit more of the the wreckage of the floor below, uh, strewn books of, across the library or what's left of a library. I suppose um, um, a hell of a lot of disarray. We should find, uh, I guess, the lady of the house or the I guess the daughter of the house uh, some of her personal effects so that when she is awakened she will not be enraged and I think it was implied that the music that is uh, playing through this realm into the shadow realm is, is coming from here right it's, it's certainly it's, a, it's one of the places you haven't been to investigate that possibility you have been to the fey version of the dance hall and it wasn't coming from there so it does definitely suggest that uh, yeah, maybe the problem is is dealt from here, and that's certainly definitely on the list and and a valid a valid thought process. And yeah, uh, obviously the uh, the personal effects of the uh, of the the Fey Lady of the House, shall we say, would uh, would greatly aid in awakening her in a in a way that would not um, uh, cause a dragon rampage. Would be probably be a uh, probably be a good thing. So yes, if you wish to go down that road, you could. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, and obviously all of the investigations of just what on earth is going on in the house, um, are there answers here? Possibly, uh, you, uh, you haven't been to anywhere to check yet. So, uh, yeah, the, these things are all, uh, all open to interpretation and all absolutely possible at this point. Uh, yeah, it's a blank slate as this side of the house. What you say is a very wise, uh, healer, Espen. However, we should also figure out what exactly happened why this uh, place got split up into its its different parts why this house was divided so to say because I I, I believe therein lies the the solution to why we originally came here to to whom this house actually belongs whether it's master Regulus, wherever he may be at the moment or whether it is one of the the siblings, the children of, of uh, what was it, Darius called the Corvinaris? Whether it's Corinne yes, or yeah, the uh, sister? Yeah, yeah. The Darius is the father, uh, and who yeah, who, who went missing during the explosion. Uh, but Crin and uh, the daughter are the uh, yeah, the two other possibilities. Uh, in, in obviously in line, along with others that would be lesser in line than uh, than Regulus in that respect. Um, because they will be through marriage in theory, but uh, yeah, there's a there's a lot of unknowns right now, and uh, again, not a lot of answers. But uh, it might be time to actually map the houses uh, and inventory the houses Milton's uh, employers were in, uh, were wanting in the first place. Well, then uh, I suppose we should make uh, haste then while we are here in in, in our world. Um, Mona, I will follow closely to you to give you the lights, uh, but if you would take the lead, we do not know what threats are ahead of us. The, the, there's some scary shit in this house. <laughs> After the last time, I, we're I not will going go back there. I will yeah, I mean, you definitely, you definitely, definitely yeah. remember the dining room being uh, problematic would probably be the best uh, the best way of putting it. It's Varia, make sure you keep up. Yeah. I'm, I'm right here. Interesting. Uh, and yeah, our, and appears, our road yeah. isn't here again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the door in front of you does appear to be locked uh, right. on this one. So, uh, yeah, you uh, you try it. You definitely try it, Mona, but uh, have no luck in the moment. Can um, I brute force my way through? Uh, Aspen reaches into his pack and takes out his sledgehammer and says, "Um, this may aid you." I love that you just have a sledgehammer in your backpack. <laughs> use the sledgehammer I was as a help, allowed actually. to have I was allowed to have some 
Whoa. items, and I was like, what would he have? Crowbar? Too smart. Sledgehammer? That's more Espen speed. Yeah, like a Mary Poppins style, you just pulling yeah. out like a full <laughs> sledgehammer. Listen, I have my printout of my character right here, and if you look on his back, boom, hammer. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. He also has a, sho he also has a shovel, so ha. <laughs> uh, Two things fair enough. everyone uh, needs. <laughs> no problem. Uh, I'm not going to have to make you roll against the door. Uh, you are uh, infinitely stronger than uh, than than I'm Ador. You can you can definitely do a here's Johnny moment of uh, of unlocking this uh, unlocking this door, and then oh, uh, it does give way as you as you break through, uh, smashing into what looks to be. Uh, the overgrown, uh, cracked and broken foyer, or at least the upper the upper floor of it, uh, as you make your way through and into the space beyond. Um, nothing obvious that you're seeing on the other side dramatically straight away, but apart from the broken tiling and uh, uh, yeah, you can see parts of the, uh, the 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 area of beyond on the other side, the broken chandelier on the ground, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, it looks like a, a hell of a mess on the other side right now. I give the sledgehammer back and say, Ooh, I gotta get me one of them. That was fun. Espen uh, nods to you and then looks back to uh, Milton and says, I can repair the door. So you don't have to worry about noting any damage. I, I think uh, in light of what has happened, I think uh, however this house comes out of it, of it afterwards, that will be the state where things will be in. We do not know if if uh, we are able to solve this. If these houses will come crashing together in some sort of cross-dimensional way. Uh, so uh, at the moment, Bob, note it down. Yeah, yeah, boss. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I've uh, yeah, I'm I'm taking it all down. Do we want to check the uh, son's room, the the archer boy's room, to so see what's in there? Might as well, yeah. since we are here. Uh, we can also see if maybe the passages uh, from the other realms exist here. We know of one that's in this room. Oh, it's locked again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mona, I, you go to another another locked door. I hand you the sledgehammer and just say, why don't you just hang on to it for now? Okay. <laughs> Crash, bang, boom. <laughs> yeah, you start smashing. Uh, and oddly, Mona, on the other side of the, whatever's going on, there is stuff piled against that door. Lots of it. Uh, there is, yeah, at least more wood. You're not quite sure you've seen the back of maybe a, a, a chest of drawers or something, but there's a lot more stuff. As you bash through the initial door, there is a lot more uh, there. You could spend some time and keep on smashing through if you wish, to, but, it would, but it's not a straightforward uh if you did if you didn't carry on and really go for it for a while it's it seems this is barricaded if i remember correctly there is another um another uh way into this room yes over at the uh dance floor i believe uh, and wasn't there a secret passage as well yes that's downstairs it, but that wasn't in one of the planes right it was in one but not in the other yeah, you certainly found that some secrets were not in exactly the same places, but um, others were. Um, so yeah, it's been a mix, is the honest truth. Anyhow, uh, let's... Espen. Uh, yes. <laughs> you, you are coming around to the uh, to the dance hall uh, on this one. Uh, uh, there's barely a balcony left, uh, would be the best way of putting it. It seems like uh, uh, a lot of the this room has collapsed into the floor, uh, the floor below as this is going on. Um, not a lot of um, things around that you can understand right now, but um, uh, yeah, it looks like it's, um, should we say precarious would be the best way of putting it. What's left of this um, walkway would be the best way of putting it. Uh, it's not in the uh, in the absolute best state, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, not easy. Uh, unfortunately, um, the other way that you mentioned, Milton, is going to be inaccessible to all but Bob, that would seem... Uh... The balcony has fallen. Uh, it actually looks like it's rather precarious what still exists. Um, I could potentially go ahead and uh, use mending to see if I can't shore up the existing balcony to try to make it to the other side, but getting into the doors into the uh, young master's room on in this house seems impossible. Does the door on that side look open? It looks like both doors are shut. 
Uh, but perhaps, as I said, uh, someone with wings, Bob, if you would like to go check. Uh, uh, he looks Bob. at he looks at Milton. Yeah, yeah. Bob, go check. Note everything there that you see. Okay, boss. No problem. Uh, moving through. Moving through. <laughs> as he sort of uh, uh, makes his way I across. I don't have pin for Bob, but uh... that's okay. That's probably for the best. Uh, Bob I'm will step uh, on the uh, balcony uh, just a little bit. It must stay there. Just to, yeah. Yeah. As you do. Yeah. As, as this is all going on. So, yeah, you're looking uh, uh, you're looking down uh, as this is all going on. But, uh, yeah, you, uh, the little bit of light is like cascading over the dance floor a little bit. Um, a lot of smashed debris once more. And you do watch Bob actually open the open the door with ease and make his way into the room and sort of disappears from uh, uh, disappears from sight as this is all going on. Um, and I look through his eyes because I think I can do this with. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's give you some uh, some vision for him. One second. Let's give him some vision. In the meantime, uh, I will report. Uh, Mona, uh, Bob was able to open one of the doors. He is inside, so there is a, an open door, as you are asking about. Okay, can Seb, can you, can you see out those eyes? Yeah, can you see through his eyes now, or uh, is it still I dark? I cannot see anything. Hmm, okay. You are you are owner of him. You might have to refresh uh just because of uh the fact that you're uh oh it might be because it's not your vision because you're uh Yeah, because I'm Milton. Because you're Milton only on that front, so apologies, yeah, it might not be so easy. So what I'll do is to make it easier, I'm gonna bring you into the room, uh and then we'll do it that way. Okay. So that it makes it a little easier. So whoop, uh, uh as this is all going on. But yeah, uh, a strange sort of um uh, sweet, uh, looking in, 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 a, in, in a fair state would be the best way of putting it. Um, they have definitely barricaded the door, uh, with most of the furniture would be the best way of putting it. Uh, but however, there do, does appear to be, um, a bunch of, uh, different items here. There is some bedding on the ground, uh, sleeping bags, uh, and other bits and bobs like that. So, uh, it certainly looks like, uh, Someone has been using this room. Um, it's it's um, as if someone it's been... hold themselves up here, uh, trying to stay safe from whatever else in this house. Poss quite possibly, they certainly certainly barricaded it in a way that made sense to do a bit of that, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, I mean, looking at the barricade from this side, Milton, you think it would only it would take a few minutes worth of work to to actually get get through it uh, from the other side, if that makes sense. If you guys did spend the time. Uh, it certainly could be cleared can, with a bit of uh, with a bit of effort. Can Bob go through some of the items, just like investigate shit, see if he finds anything interesting? Absolutely, yeah. He can definitely make an investigation check and see how he's going to do. While he's doing that, can Espen start using mending to shore up uh, what he can on the balcony so that it doesn't fall if anyone else gets out here? Yeah, you can do little little bits and bobs, uh, Espen, as you're as you're as you're going on on, on that front, trying to uh, trying to rebuild. Uh, there's only it's extensive damage uh, would be the best way of putting it, but it doesn't not mean look, that not uh, looking to you make it pretty, just looking to make it stable for others. Stable to walk enough, on. yeah, yeah, yep. fair enough. I mean, certainly for the for the bits around the areas around around you two, you around the first few five feet, you think you'll be able to make that make that work on that one. Um, it's not. Pretty work, but it will certainly oh, certainly helps Wrong. keep things going. This is the right one. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, he. Um, I mean, barring the obvious um, ruined bedroll in the middle of the of the room, and the very, uh, shall we say, obvious uh, <laughs> uh, blade, uh, like uh, almost like a great sword that seems to be. Have rusted very, very badly, but is very prominent in the room. Uh, he's not really picking up anything dramatically more interesting, if that makes sense, apart from, yeah, the amount of garbage and uh, destruction that is in this room uh, is just generally uh, quite high. Um, but yeah, he he does assume that someone used the room after the fact, if that makes sense, or as not. This is not has been, yeah, this is not recent activity, but uh, yeah, certainly. Uh, yeah, was wasn't yeah. the best time. Milton will describe what he sees through uh, Bob's eyes out loud. Um, but me, at the meantime, Bob can can he like go try to open these doors? Just see what's behind him. 
Yeah, absolutely he can. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, he can definitely open uh, open that one up and uh, see that there's a little uh, broken up uh, uh, servicing uh, space uh, next to that one, that side of things. Nothing too dramatic as, uh, uh, as he does. Uh, there is, uh, as he goes through the other one, there is a very um, ruined bathroom. Uh, uh, and he, he I'll, I'll give you even with his investigation of a 10 from previous, the very obvious burn marks of uh, the remains of what would have been probably a campfire uh, using uh, um, furniture where um, uh, wood as uh, as the as the fire material has been made in the middle of this tiled floor. Uh, so yeah, clearly more signs of activity uh, uh, on that one. Uh, um, but yeah, it seems like uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely. Uh, managed to do that without burning the house down but uh yeah uh, they've uh, not had the best time so so Mil milton will describe this to uh whoever's listening on the other end of this before we went on this uh, this trip and uh astra got assigned this case she probably would have done some research on the people that have disappeared coming here do, uh, could i make a history check to see if anyone matching the description uh, like a great bringing a great so great sword has like, uh, missing. yeah you can make a history check yeah let's yeah. see how you do yeah because you would have had you would have had some some of the back history of this yeah wah, wah. Oh, <laughs> yeah i mean you the only the uh, i will give you this though that you have you are aware that in in past history there have been other other adventurers that have been uh, have come to the house if that makes sense and then yeah. never been heard of again you you know you know at least those sort of stories um perhaps this is yeah similar stuff mm -hmm. um but yeah nothing else stands out more dramatic than that if that makes sense in the in the moment as this is going on i don't know anybody from ferncomb or who has been around ferncomb that used a great sword do i uh not well that's come up come up here no i mean i, I imagine you may you may well have done heard uh, met met some people but uh no, I don't think you've ever um, known of anyone that's actually come here uh, by that description, if that makes sense. Because I'm not, I don't think they've been past her own comb okay. uh, as that was going on. Um, but yeah, you are precariously uh, balanced over the uh, uh, over the dance floor, Espen, as you're trying to make your way along the uh, make make your way along there, repairing a little bit a uh, little bit here and there. Um, you're realizing as you get the further you're going out that way over the dance floor there. Uh, the damage is horrendous, uh, uh, and you, you're pretty sure underneath this is not good. Uh, and to the point of, I, I mean, you're not sure you can get to a point where you could fix it. Yeah, I, I hold out a hand to, to Mona and I say, I don't think we should go past uh, this. Um, this is too precarious. Um, even someone as, as small as, uh, as, as Astra or Cordelia could end up collapsing it. Mm. Place where the piano was. Uh, on the other side of the room. No, there doesn't appear to be the other side of the balcony. It doesn't seem to be there. However, there is a busted up piano in the middle of the space, uh, on the ground, but on the floor below. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, it's like the whole of the, this floor has fallen down. Uh, and there's into, no music into the, into the floor about. Right now, no, no, you're not hearing any music right it's now. It's in the other plane that we just learned about. It's in the fourth one, wherever that is. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I can noisy. step back if um, Cordelia, you need to see inside the room to put someone in there. Who wants to go? Oh, I can go and then move all the stuff to let you all in. Uh, with a click, vortex warp, you're in the room. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, in in moments, uh, uh, Mona. <laughs> And you, uh, yeah, you literally appear on the other side of the, uh, oh, hi, uh, other side of the space, and uh, yeah, Bob is like, oh, whoa, <laughs> he's, uh, he says, cool trick, to, uh, yeah, uh, uh, but, uh, I used to get you know a guy that did something like that, very fancy, very fancy. That were you or one of the others? No, it was me. And then he's, oh, right. he's kinda... and he, look, he looks impressed. He looks impressed as, uh, uh, as this goes on. Um, uh, so yeah, it sounds like we spend a few minutes with Mona. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It's not. It's it's just busy work of actually having to move the uh, the furniture out of the way to uh, make room and space to allow the people in. But uh, it's definitely absolutely doable. And then as after, uh, yeah, after, you slowly but surely uh, move everything done. out of the way. Can I go to where the fire 
uh, where the fire was or wherever. Yeah, absolutely. Camp, yeah, you can make your way over this way. Yeah, yeah. And can I? So the fire was in in the tiled bathroom here. There was a large mirrored uh, mirrored wall on the other side as this is all uh, all going on. But yeah, what would you like to do? Can I do like a survival check to see how long ago this fire had, had been? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Or you can if there's any that. tracks around the fire, I guess. Yeah, stuff. no problem. I, I'm going to need two rolls from you. I'm going to need your um, your survival one uh, as a start, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to need a perception from you as well. Okay. Oh, oh, God. oh God. Okay. I mean, I mean, barring the obvious, it's it's very old because it's it's been burnt out for a very very long time. I mean, your gut is years, but you don't know. Yeah, you have no idea of a of a period of time, if that makes sense. More accurate than that. And then just a perception, please. I rolled it twice, sorry. All right, I'll take your first one. Uh, <laughs> what is going All of us are rolling <laughs> rubbish. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, fair it's enough. It's been one of those nights. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna have this as, a, so a, as the camera sort of pans round and Mona is sort of moving out of the room. What we have is the camera sort of catches the mirror, and behind Mona, in the bathtub beyond, for a moment, there's a, there's a, there is, you swear for a moment, there's a flicker of a, was that a person standing, like a frame of a person in the bathtub for a moment, no. and then oh, it no. was, and, and then it was gone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mona didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, Mona just walked out casually as if nothing... <laughs> <laughs> nothing horrible's happened. No Shining-esque scary ladies in bathtubs. Uh, um, um, but yes, everybody, uh, yeah, you sort of uh, make your way in, uh, yeah, to this, um, I suppose, encampment. That would be the best way of putting it here as, uh, yeah. as this is kind of going on. Um, but yeah, it all seems like... Uh, uh, very old stuff that's been hanging around for a very long time would be the best uh, best way of putting it. Can anyone remember where the door was? Uh, it's behind door? where this wardrobe is. Okay. Uh, you can definitely spend the time moving the uh, do, moving the wardrobe. Yes. That's that's not oh, a, you have that's a not a problem. <laughs> we'll move it. <laughs> Just break the <laughs> back of the wardrobe. <laughs> It's just no, no problem. Destruction <laughs> isn't the answer. No, no one is the shining and Narnia come together. No one is touching the suspiciously obvious cursed sword in the in the room. No, nope. nope. it's rusted. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> rusted sword in the middle of the room. But yeah, no, you can definitely see that there is uh, Espen there. Uh, as as you, as you guys look, you can see that there is stair the stairway leading down as you've heard, as you've seen before. Uh, you definitely uh, definitely have. It's in the same place as before, so it does kind of make sense. Cast precipitation on the sword to see if if there's any details on it from when it was fresh. Uh, yeah, you can absolutely uh, tidy it up a little bit uh, as this is all going on. Um, you muted Conrad, by the way. Ah. Espen just said, uh, it appears that the stairwell from the shadow version of the house still exists here. I'm guessing this must lead down to the parlor. I... I'm guessing this is our only way down, right? If we can't get across there, so. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, 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 Astra, are you doing a more of a general investigation check, or are you just doing uh, specifically the precipitation on the sword? Is what I'm, I'm, I suppose I just need to. I specifically understand. will use the spell precipitation and just see if there's any details on yeah. it, and then if I don't get inviscerated by the sword, then I'll probably do a general one. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I'm um, that one. Uh, no, no obvious markings on the sword when you do actually clear it up uh, as this is going on. Um, but you can make a general investigation check of this uh, this bit that you've uh, that you've been looking at here on that one. Seven. Twenty-seven uh, on that one. Rifling through this collection of old moth-eaten clothing, uh, you uncover uh, uncover something nested within a emerald pendant. Though dirty and dusty, the jewelry is surprisingly in good shape. You uh, you turn it over, and the engraving reads, uh, "To my beloved Elseth, may this ever remind me of you." And yeah, Lady <laughs> Elseth is the oh, dragon yeah. lady that you've met oh. in the in the play. Uh, Astra will make an excited squealy noise and be like, "Oh, oh! I found um, I found I found one of her items. It's, it's a, a necklace for Elseth. It's a gift someone gave to her." And I'm just gonna like brandish it excitedly. Yeah, I've put that in your inventory. That you now have. Yeah. Uh, you now have that. That is all good. Um, Who does it say it's from? Doesn't really. It's just uh, for my beloved. I assume she knows. 
Maybe it's her to my beloved. To be very amused. Yeah, yeah. To my mm-hmm. beloved Elsith, may this ever remind me and uh, remind remind you of me. Sorry, is the right way of putting it. Yes, we may know a domestic know, when we return. If her betrothed uh, is from this realm, perhaps he is transformed. Oh, you, that you is a possibility. A, yeah. Unclear on the know. transformation, but he certainly had hooves, so unlikely from here. Mm. Perhaps well, they were already married when they disappeared, right? Or is this something that happened afterwards? Uh, you we believe don't know. that they Yeah, you're not sure for <laughs> certain, but you've it's been implied they've been around, but you yeah, you don't know. Uh, you certainly know that obviously that she was here for the the accident that occurred um, and yes, all of she, that. But was her husband around already or did that we, marriage we, only happen know. after? You've, yeah, I don't think you've actually got that uh, uh, that information yet as, as far as that. I mean, he certainly is a strange character, but let's put it that way, to uh, uh, to say the least, what you've uh, what you've seen of the guy uh, is definitely uh, yeah, I yeah. don't think An he's from thing. here. If they would were Aspen, married before, Aspen it would know. be on the family tree that um, Milton's got, wouldn't it? If they yeah. were previously married, it would already be on the family tree. Or would Espen know about any well, sort of romance or betrothal with the daughter? Uh, she's not actually spending. She didn't spend much time in the Raven Tree, so I don't think there would have actually been any knowledge of what she was up to. <laughs> As far as I'm aware, no on that front. Goss. However, the yeah, but how? However, the actual um, uh, information that that uh, that Milton has, in theory, that does have a bit more, a uh, bit more going on in it on that front. Bear with me, and let's find uh, that will be in your private somewhere, Sam. Let's have a quick look back here. Here we go. Here we go. Um, yes, so there is uh, uh, so there is Elsith Corvinaris on the name uh, on the list, along with. A Bartram Rousset, uh, which uh, is a is a very different, uh, a very that's different not, name. That's not this guy. No, no. that is not this guy. No. Bartram Rousset. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so different name entirely. Yes. Drama. I'm invested in this soap opera. <laughs> I'm invested very, very in the good. house divided soap opera. Very, very good find, uh, Miss Astra. I applaud you. I preen at the compliment. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do we wish to descend these stairs, or do we think there's anything else in this room? Mm-hmm. I don't really think there's much else. Um, yeah, it looks like I... there's a wardrobe behind you. Is there anything in there? I open the doors to the wall. Is there a wardrobe behind me? Uh, it's kind of a cupboard oh, area off, like to, cupboard. off to one side uh, as this is all going on. Uh, uh, oh, but yeah, I'll say I'll say with your with your previous roles, you have uh, yeah you you are dealing with all the good the good stuff of this space. If that makes sense, I won't okay. have you roll again. Yeah, uh, there is a a partially discarded um, bottle of wine that sort of sits off to one side, but it's not in the, in the greatest of uh, yeah. You, you're not sure if it's wine or vinegar at this point. Uh, oh. It's probably the other other one uh, the other one. If you are spending the time investigating the whole space, I will give you that oddly the mirror in the bathroom is uh, oddly clean compared to, to, to the rest of the space. Is that the, is that, that's the same bath and Mona's already been in, right? So mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I should go, Mona, did you clean the mirror in here? No. Weirdly clean for compared to everything else. This mirror's spotless. I will probably like wipe it to see if it feels weird. Yeah, <laughs> no, touch no, the magic mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, it feels abso- absolutely, absolutely fine and uh, cold to the touch, but no, no, no problems uh, on that front. Um, just no dust as you as you run your finger across. You know? Well, that really weird. That that was so clean. Oh God! Anyone heard of weird self-cleaning mirrors before, or is that a, a new thing to everyone? Can I roll a religion check to see if anything pops up with me? <laughs> sure, you can roll a religion check. For, <laughs> All right. For it. Absolutely. Guided, yeah, yeah. Guidance, I guess, to see if there's yeah, any enough, sort of yeah, yeah. demons or gods or whatever that would do that. Yeah. Okay. With a, with a 17, you're pretty uh, sure with in your back. an 18. Yeah. Oh. Un- unchanged. <laughs> uh, you, you're pretty sure right now uh, uh, that, uh, yeah, there's not been any stories that you're aware of of mystical self-cleaning mirrors uh, that, uh, that, that that comes to mind uh, from uh, from any of your religions it's not setting off any of your uh, 
of your uh, of your uh, re religious uh, points in none this, of the uh, scriptures this point. speak of it N yeah, none, Esmond, none Esmond of the scriptures just... speak of the thunder <laughs> and magic mirrors Asma just shrugs <laughs> uh, yeah, like goes in to say bloody mary bloody. <laughs> <laughs> amazing I made that predictable um She's going to cast attack magic. Okay, yeah, fair enough, no problem. Um, yeah, how how far out does it spread? Thirty feet. I, um, I'm in the room. No, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm asking, how far does it go? Oh, oh, uh, I'll stay in the chat. Uh, there you go. There you go. The tech oh. magic stays active, right? As long as uh, as long as the casting. Yes, yeah, so ten goes. minutes. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, thirty feet. 30 feet. Oh, 30 feet. 30 feet of me. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, just gen general general bits of uh, material get in the way over time. No problem. Uh, yeah, no, nothing and nothing is uh, pinging in the moment, barring obviously if uh, items on people, the the things you would expect to be uh, 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 to be going, if that makes sense. Um, but no, no, nothing in this room is pinging, uh, pinging that. Uh, yeah, um, I will, I'll give you, as you wander back into the room, the, the, the sword that is sitting there is not... Uh, it's not pinging either. It's not uh, suddenly a magic item. Okay. Uh, so yeah, nothing's nothing. Ubery is uh, is is ticking off in this uh, in this moment as this is all going on. Is the emerald glowing? Uh, no, no, uh, no. Nothing from uh, nothing from that at the moment. Uh, but it's a nice pen. It's pretty. That's all that matters. <laughs> and no magic mirror. No magic mirror right now. No, as uh, as you're doing that. Uh, seems but seems good so far. Or Perhaps um, <laughs> check the closet. Maybe we'll get a surprise. <laughs> she looks in the yeah, closet. Looks like a closet. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, nothing. Nothing is pinging off of the uh, off of the magic uh, uh, effect right now. But you have ten minutes of that, I believe, isn't it? To, uh, I to... do indeed. Um, she's gonna. Sorry, while I was checking out the mirror, she'll also. Uh, you said it was cold to the touch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's just going to breathe on it gently, just to try and mist it up to see if anything has been written in the mirror. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, as, as you do. Um, yeah, you do breathe out for a moment and steam it up. Um, there are streaks in the mirror uh, where someone has, has wiped. Um, but no, there is no message as you're, as you're looking. But you can definitely see where something has been wiped across it. And everything yeah, in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> And everything in the room is the, as it should be in the mirror, in its reflection. It seems to be right now, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I've examined this mirror enough. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, Mono, would you like know, to right? lead the way down? I, like to... I will. <laughs> Milton <laughs> wants to go in again and get, yeah, it's a chair, guys. Let's, a let's chair. spend another half an hour <laughs> investigating this mirror. <laughs> that, that just seems like fun. <laughs> I've, I've Tell me more about, about this mirror, mirror. yes. Yeah, that's right. If you're going down, you're going down. So yeah, you should hopefully be uh, moving to the to the floor below. I'll bring Bob across for you. Is this is all going on. Ah. I got really excited oh. because I thought there was a cat laying on this couch, but it's debris. <laughs> ah, fair it's enough. A fossilized well, uh, cat. No. Right, I will join you guys now. Hopefully, everybody should be a reappearing on Sekal. <laughs> Okay, so yes, you guys are in a parlor room. You've been in versions of this parlor room many, many a time as this is all going, uh, uh, going around. Uh, but uh, yes, this is um, um, very um, broken apart uh, in 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 looks in in terrible shape. However, there is a ghost of a person sitting on the chair, one of the on one of the sofas across from you, Espen, as you. Ah. As, as you're literally, as you're literally, literally starting to sit, uh, uh, sit, as you're starting to sit down here, this guy uh, is uh, is literally I'm sitting sorry. in the uh, uh, in, in in one of the things, and he basically says, "Ah, you have arrived fashionably late as well. I see. Come, come, join me. We can wait together." <laughs> Espen's like halfway into the sitting position because he always sits down whenever he can. Um, and, and and then stands back up uh, shortly and says, um, "Our apologies for arriving late. Um, uh, what might your name be, sir?" Now I'm Pyrrhus. Uh, I am a guest here as well. I am waiting for the party to begin. I've been waiting a while. 
But I think of perhaps I've been waiting a while, a very long while. And if you're referring to, a little bit. if I think you're referring to the same party I have in mind, you're about twenty years too late. No, no, it's only been a few minutes. It's not that bad. I'm not that late. No, no. Fashionable. Fashionable lateness. That's what it's all about. Do you tell us what year it is? Uh, and he gives you the date, and it's exactly 20 years ago to uh, uh, to, to about a few days prior, uh, as this is all going on on that one. Um, yeah, sorry, mate. It's actually, insert year here, whatever year it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Um, I'll pull out probably like one of my old like an, an old newspaper that I have because I work for newspapers and show the date on it. Which uh, he starts isn't to today. he starts to he starts to look at uh, look at it for a moment and uh, it's very strange. And uh, yeah, he starts to uh, yeah he, he sort of blanks on you for a while as this is all going on. Do you not see the condition of your surroundings? Does this look like a house that has been in upkeep in any sort of recent years? Ah, I see. You've arrived late as well. Come, come, join. Uh, join me, sit, and we'll, uh, we can wait together. Okay. He's been asked. Sir, oh, <laughs> this party you are invited to, what kind of party is it? Does it involve a lot of dancing? Absolutely. There should be plenty of dancing. Uh, I'm, 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 quite, I'm quite the man for that, you know. Um, no, I am yeah, sure I'm personally you are. looking very I'm very much looking forward to some of that. Along with oh, some I... of the fine wine the master has here. Very good. Very good. Oh, I trust me. I, I like dancing just as much as the next guy. What is the occasion of this party? Do you know? Ah. Uh, and he looks again he starts looking confused. Uh, he's like I uh and yeah, he you, you can definitely tell he he, he is very unsure of himself. Uh, as this is all going on, he can't. Uh, I, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I must confess, my mind wandered a bit there for a moment. Well, well, what were you saying? What is the occasion of the party you were invited to? Uh, ah, uh, it's. Uh, uh, and, he, and he struggles to think through for a moment. I think it was a, I think it's a remembrance for the lady. Yes, yes, the, her. Uh, for her. Yes, I'm. I'm. Or was that what it was for? And yeah, he sort of drifts off again. For Elsie? Uh, he looks her. confused. Yeah, he looks confused. Yeah, Lana. Yes, it's for her. Mm -hmm. It really was a treasure. I could not pass up the chance to celebrate her life. Such, uh, it was so short as it was. And he sort of again starts to wander, his mind wandering again in the, in the moments. James, what do I know of the lady of the house, uh, Darius's wife? Yeah, oh, I mean, uh, um, um, she she was uh, uh, the only things you're definitely aware of is that she passed before the house disappeared, um, but it wasn't by much. So it was, I think, the house was probably still in mourning would be the best way of putting it, or uh, or, or or it wouldn't have been long after, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, there wasn't much information on what went on uh, on that front. I don't think anyone knew much of anything apart from she had passed. Um, Espen will um, provide that information to the group. And uh, yeah, yeah as, you're start if, as, as you're starting to say that, uh, he sort of um, sort of perks up and says, uh, uh, yeah, she, she, was, she was the lady of the manor here. Poor Darius. He was so distraught at her, uh, being so ill, taken so quickly. Hmm. And yeah, again, it's a start to drift. Uh, uh, so he sort of looks around it on that one. Yes, she seemed in such good health. The time I saw her before, her passing had left him in such a way. Mm, the world is a worse place for her not being in it. So sad. Yes. Dear cousin. Hmm. And then, yeah, he sort of drifts off into his own, into his own thing again. Cousin. More family you... for this Jeremy Kyle stuff. What's what's the <laughs> what's the name? Because I can't read it in curs cursive. Is it like uh, Amatar? Amator? Uh, what are you reading from the uh... Yelana uh, Amator? Or... Oh, sorry. From uh, yeah, on on that front. Yeah, I don't. I I, I only ever know her as a Corvinara, so I I can't read that name either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, on that front. 
Um, and if you do ask him his last name, he will not uh, he will not be able to remember it either in the in the things uh, as this is going on. But yeah, he seems to be there, but not fully, if that makes sense. So he, he can answer things if you do have uh, if you have more 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 things you want to try and get from him. Can oh, you think you're muted uh, on that one, Jess? Oh, oh no, uh, there you go. When the house disappeared, was there any? Uh, how many people disappeared with it? Do we know? Mm, well, it was assumed all of the family and the and the and the, the house uh, worth of people. Um, okay. If the, it, by the sounds of what this guy is saying, there were guests here at the time, which also does come up with the whole thing of there being dancers and bits and bobs that you've seen in other dimensions as well. Uh, so yeah, there is there was probably more uh, as that's going on, and then more have disappeared over the years as people have come here. Uh, adventurers, that kind of thing, as uh, uh, with time. But that suggests that the guests didn't sort of survive the divide, whilst the family did. Well, you've certainly seen skinless bodies of guests in certain uh, certain realms. Whether whether you call them alive, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is, it, is a hard, is a hard thing. Yes, it's definitely true. Okay. It, it may have to do with proximity to the uh, origination of such a spell. Also, yeah, whatever maybe... went whatever went down was incredibly powerful. You know that much. Yeah. Also, lineage and or connection to the Kovanaris family. Uh, if you got the blood, or if they have some sort of interest in you, maybe they take steps to protect you, like they did with Usk. Otherwise, maybe you're just left twisting and end up like Varia. You know. Um, while possibly. I'm standing over here, James, I'd like to open this door to see what's in it. Uh, yeah, absolutely, no problem. Uh, there seems to be a cloakroom beyond uh, as you uh, as you uh, make your way uh, over on that front. Uh, yes, yeah, simple it's room lined with shelves uh, and hooks uh, uh, for hanging out where uh, there is a pungent stench of mildew uh, that sort of hits your senses as you're opening the door. Um, but the room seems to have held up remarkably well. Uh, there are dozens of aged and moth-eaten cloaks and overcoats left hanging in the racks. Um, yeah, it seems like it, it. It's not the place doesn't. This doesn't seem to be looted. Uh, would be the other way uh, uh, on that one. But uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely a cloakroom. Espen puts his head out and says, um, "I found the cloakroom uh, for the parlor. Uh, we know that there were people in attendance. Perhaps um, this room could lend us some clues as to who they were. It seems like the." Aside from a little mildew, it's held up uh, well. Fair enough. And then as you two make your way into the room, can you make me a wisdom perception check, please? Lovely. <laughs> you said perception? Mm. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, Astra, you will be surprised when the coats start to levitate off the racks. However, Espen, <laughs> you will not be caught in a surprise round, as we are going to be fighting the clothes in the <laughs> in what's going on. So let's uh figure this out. Uh we Whoopsie don't need doodle. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Uh, I will roll for them and let's see how you guys get on. Uh, can Cordelia roll <gasps> now or is it uh, hey, it's improved then. We don't need a Bob, do we? We can remove him. Yeah, we do we need, do need a uh Vario though. We do need a Vario. And uh, that's because Vario is not being kept in the scene. Let's bring her through. Uh, that is easy enough to do. And then we'll give her a roll as well. Okay, right. Uh, everybody is in. Astro, you're going to be at the top of the round. However, that's not going to be the surprise round of the coats uh, as this is all going on. So uh, uh, you're going to have the surprised round first of all as this first thing of the coats will... Uh, begin attacking, and we'll see how this is going to how this is going to go on this one. Oh, uh, right. Okay. So as the coats are going to make their cool. way, uh, the the first one is going to uh, attempt to try and constrict you, I believe, uh, on that one. Uh, so uh, an attack of twenty three Astro as uh, for nine bludgeoning damage Just. as this coat starts to and starts to. Literally start to uh, yeah, literally trying to beat you up in the oh, uh, in the moments as this is going on. Um, 
I'm going to say, uh, uh, um, yeah, I'm, and the only thing I was going to do was if Cordelia was anyone any, anywhere closer, I would have uh, I would have said it was all started pinging off in the moments. But uh, as this has all sort of uh, been going on, uh, there was, there's not been anything really too dramatic. Um, so yes, you take uh, you take that one, and then we are going to go to the uh, one second. Uh, there are three of them, so uh, yeah, I should uh, I should let them. Uh, Oh, no, it's a surprise round, so I'm not going to... No, I'm, I'm going to keep it at that front. It's just because it would be unfair because the other, others are not surprised by it. So, Astra, you are going to be uh, at the top of the turn order here as this is all going on. Uh, you can uh, you can work and do your thing. My spells need a yes, As the coats are, uh, are beginning to constrict. Mm. My, uh, yes. Um. Never trust the coats. Uh, yep. Oh god. I'm trying to work out if I would panic to do this. Oh. <laughs> what would Even the though do? it would technically hurt us then. Mm. Yes, you have to decide do what it. Astra would do. Yeah, I can't. Panic, do it. <laughs> Eyeball the room. You know you want to. Oh. Uh, <laughs> if you're not doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> Embrace chaos. <laughs> I'm not fireballing the room, don't worry. Um, uh, enchanted, I'm guessing. Can I dispel magic? Maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think that will be my first move is to try. Are you, you're you're going to target one of target one of these? Yeah, uh, the one that's grabbing onto me. So it would be kind of more like me just trying to turn it off. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no problem on that one. No, no problem. Okay, so it's got to make a Constitution save. Let's have a look and see how it's going to do. Dun, dun, dun. On this one, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, the uh, one next to you instantly and drops uh, as you uh, as you cast uh, dispel magic on it in the moment, uh, Astra. As that uh, as that goes. Nice. Anything <laughs> else? Um, uh, I will yell out the cook. To like everyone that's outside of it, uh, the room. Oh, fair enough. Uh, no problem. No problem. Okay, bringing us to uh, Mona's turn here. You hear a kerfuffle going on. Um. Oh, well, bah, 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 bah. Excuse me. Excuse me, Bob. Excuse me, Milton. Oh. Yeah, there appear to be three three coats. Two, one on the ground, and two that are uh, attempting to fight the uh, uh, the people in the room. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Sure. Uh, Mona will uh, cut uh, up by her shoulder, and she will act. And instead of ice this time, she will sparks will start coming out of her blade. And she'll activate a, th a thunder mm -hmm. right and take two damage. Okay. Uh, that's fine. That's... She will attack. Oh please! No. Oh, please. oh yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Eleven plus seven plus five. I'm a little sad to have to a coat. But... Uh, yeah, <laughs> and, the other, and the other seven as well. So, and the other seven as well. Uh, yeah, a coat looks like uh, it's gone to almost being a completely <laughs> tattered rag, but it's it is not quite dead after the first one. But uh, okay, I'm assuming there's more 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 coming after that. Yeah. Uh, an 18 will definitely hit, and it's paltry three or four hit points. Yeah, it's three hit points left to its name. You you eviscerate the first coat. <laughs> Mona's just really confused. She doesn't really know if she's doing anything to it, I guess, because it's just hitting <laughs> fabric. Rags. Yes. <laughs> well, the rags and it fall just apart. falls to the floor and is like, oh, okay. You two have got this, that one, right? That was quite easy. I'm just going to walk out. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Uh, moving oh, to the... <laughs> that, that's it. No problem. Moving to the next one. Esperin, uh, this one will be uh, on you. Uh, it's going to try and constrict you and see how it's going to do. Uh, 21 to hit for 9 bludgeoning, Esperin. As, uh, that does it. Uh, as it manages to do that as that's going on. Uh, so now this one is wrapping around you uh, as this is all going on and trying to... Uh, constrict you in the moments um, but that's officially done Cordelia, round to you <laughs> Mona's casually walked out of the room just like <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the, the axe has done the job Best Don't defender there. ever It's a coat, you got this <laughs> Why are you attacking the outerwear? 
<laughs> the outerwear attacked first. <laughs> Are the coats at least decent quality? Are they nice coats? Yeah. If 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 old and uh, and mothball. Okay. I'm imagining the ones that were in like the wardrobe in the Narnia movies. <laughs> Uh, Cordelia, yes. Yeah, so, uh, how? What are you going to do with this awful dress wear? Apologies, Aspen. <laughs> twenty-five for six. Yeah, twenty-five for six. Uh, as this is going on, absolutely. So, yeah, you do. Uh, you do hit uh, burning it for three and Espen for three. In the... <laughs> <laughs> You're muted, Connor. You're muted. No, I'm not. That oh. was me pantomiming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, he's getting burned in the in the moments as he's getting a bit of a singe going on. But uh, is there anything <laughs> else from Cordelia as this is going on? No, no, she's good. Okay, uh, Varia will make her way in and she will move across and will attempt to start wrestling this thing off of Vesman. And it's going to make a a contested strength. Let's see how that's going to go. I'm sorry, not her forte, three. but she does not want to. Uh, she doesn't want to do it, but she's done pretty good with an 18. Let's see how it's going to do. Your acolyte has a death wish. I swear to God, she just runs in every single time. Oh my God! Um, miraculously, Espen, you watch as this little halfling is like, like having a buff strength moment, ripping, managing <laughs> to rip this coat off of you uh, as this is all going on. <laughs> And, but uh, yeah, yeah, she, she's managed to pull it pull it off of you uh, in the in the moments as this is all going on, uh, helping where she can. Uh, it is now free form in the room, uh, Milton. Okay, so I'm gonna play this as uh, Milton getting out his rapier and like getting ready to strike the coat that's like constricting Espen, like just as uh, as uh, it's pulling off and like sort of half disappointed like he redirects his attack to the coats that's that's now like free uh, uh fair enough uh yeah as, uh, yeah as uh, uh in the last of the moments yeah you see varia pulling it free and it uh and uh, yeah your blade uh skips into the uh, into the right into the I right thought point you were gonna here stop varia <laughs> i mean yeah a, a rapier is a, a piercing weapon not a slashing weapon so you'd have to Poke a hole in someone. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. The, the coat's free. I'll just poke a coat in. Uh, I'll just poke a hole in the coats. It's fine. Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> I know. Ah, uh, well, in the moment, yeah. So that has happened. Anything else on Milton's turn here? Fireball. No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, bringing us to at the bottom of the turn order. Espen's turn now. The coat's been removed from you. Uh, you're freed of it. Uh, it's been attacked, but uh, yeah, what do you do in the moment? Uh, Aspen goes to yell at Varia, uh, but then sees how she strong armed this thing off him, and then kind of you know clamps his mouth shut. And then good work is done. You don't want to yell at people. Um, does clock Milton all of that? Yeah, gives well, you an the blade incredul- sort of passed, yeah, passed, passed by you pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Gives you an incredulous look, and then just. Traces his fingers down to uh, Sacred Flame, the coat, for three. Okay, uh, on that one. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 deck save. Let's see how it's going to do uh, on that one. And, oh, it does pretty well in the moment. For none. Okay. okay. Bringing us, I believe, Astro back to the top of the turn order as this is all going on. I guess I'm going to have to use my, my rapier on it because I don't think it has a brain to comprehend vicious mockery, so <laughs> we're going to have to see yeah, 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 you're probably on the right line. The one in front of me will be apparently stabbed, but probably not. <laughs> uh, well, the, the one in front of you is the one you've just dispelled, so it's on the ground. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, the... then no, it'll be the one that's up. Sorry, I didn't see the, the... the one. The one that's yeah. up. Okay, so fair enough. So yeah, so that with an eight, uh, and no, unfortunately, yeah. you will miss with an. Eight. I went through with the an, arm with an eight. Oh, As, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, clashing, <laughs> clashing with Milton's blade or something in the moment that yeah. doesn't quite doesn't quite work. Uh, Mona, they're still playing around <laughs> with his clothes. Uh, fine. <laughs> Mona. <laughs> um. Okay, I'll attack. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Okay, yeah, and in one foul swipe, uh, eviscerates the uh, uh, what's left of that second of the just second from coat. behind Espen. He just sees like a huge glaive just come past him, just sliding, slicing it. through. <sighs> and uh, yeah, it's silence will uh, erupt in the moments as uh, the uh, the 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 coats of death have been dealt with. Espen's patting out his sleeve that's still smoldering. <laughs> Little, Can't little wait singe, for the little, ones little against the <laughs> just... mm. Oh god! Well, uh, that was um not the best. And actually, like kicks the the coat on the floor a couple of times to make sure it's still down. It's definitely still down. <laughs> uh, as this is going on, yeah, yeah, you've uh, yeah, like uh, like a Jedi out of uh, out of Star Wars. It's clapped <laughs> to the ground and is not moving. Ooh, check <laughs> if I left a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> How is this guy reacting to us murdering doing this? <laughs> seems 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 perfectly uh, in his own world. It would be the best way of putting it as this is all going on. Well, mm. very well done, everybody. <laughs> uh, Cordelia, did, or anyone? Do do you still have the magicy detect on or or not? Uh, for another few minutes. Espen frowns as Milton walks by, but nods in appreciation to Varia, and then puts a hand on Astra's shoulder and says, in case you wanted to search any of their pockets, uh, Lathander will illuminate what is unseen and give you guidance. Thank you, yes. Uh, I, I, I will tentatively investigate the pockets of the ones we best uh, Yeah, you can definitely definitely make an investigation check, see, uh, see what you're doing within here. Oh no, I will say that I'm not helping her because I just gave her guidance, so that's probably what i did with my action so yep fair enough fair enough uh 26 i mean 20 as as, uh, uh 9, 9. 29 29 yeah um they are very moth-eaten and and down but they, it appears to just be there's no there's nothing in pockets or anything like that this is definitely guests out of where you don't they it doesn't seem like they've left anything interesting per se if that means there's some heavier raincoats and things like that there are the there, some are some have held up not too bad. Some of them actually look almost new. If you wanted a a heavier sort of a raincoat, uh, it, it would probably do. In if that was uh, uh, the way you would want to deal with it, but uh, most of it, yeah, just looks uh, uh, like it's just uh, you know not done well with age, shall we say, is the best thing. But uh, no, 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 very interesting. Um, items shall we say in amongst this these outer clothing it seems like they yeah probably the guests didn't leave anything of uh, mm. a very good uh, a very good interest in amongst them there's no like um uh, you know when you yeah uh, you you drop your coat off at the coat and you put like a little tab with your initials or something on it so people know who's who's uh, not, not as right, far as you like... can t yeah not not as far as you can tell but then maybe that was the uh, uh maybe that was the purview of the uh of, of the butlers to know, yeah, what people's mm -hmm. coats were wear. If that was saying, it's a smaller scale than a than a, than a party most of the time. Uh, Cordelia and Mona. Um, Cordelia, can you give me a perception check as uh, as this is all going on? Oh. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, so as you're so, as you're sort of staring and you, your your vision sort of wanders away from Mona. Uh, you sort of see sit above the um, the sitting stair. Uh, sorry, above the sort of um, sort of chaise longue that's on the, uh, against the wall. There is a painting of Regulus uh, on the wall. Would be the best way of putting it. Uh, she'll just lean into Mona and point at the portrait. Mona will look up and genuinely look surprised and be like, "Oh wow, is that not good enough for you, Milton? Is that not good enough proof?" That's literally Reg, right there. Uh, and then, it, uh, if you, as you look at the plaque underneath, it says the heart of Raven Tree, Thaddea Redstone. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you're, wait, you're, wait, you're, 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 you're clearly looking at um, a painting of Darius uh, Corvinaris. Oh man! <clears throat> well, he does look remarkably like uh, him. He could be his father, I suppose. <sighs> oh, make a make a sketch. I'm on it, boss. I'm on it. And it's yeah, it's uncanny. 
Uh, Ash will I mean, come and how, find how uncanny? Is it, like, exactly the same? Like, the clothes, <laughs> the hairstyle, everything the same? Uh, I mean, not, not so much clothes, the clothes, not, but Yeah, hair not the clothes, and... but un- uncannily like him. Uncannily like him. Mm. <laughs> Two on the nose, else. don't you think? Astra says, <laughs> like, looking Defin- over. Def- yeah, definitely something in the nose, yeah. Well, that's the second photo we've seen, and it looks exactly like Red, so I don't know why we're trying to go back and forth to the planes to try and get proof. Clearly... Hey, kids, it isn't to create clones. There's... Uh, usually it's a combination of both parents, not exactly the same, it's like in the case of the picture. Well, sometimes it just be like that. You know? Well, I, I will say this constitutes as uh, quite a convincing uh, piece of evidence. However, there's still the matter that this house is divided over three planes, which might need to be solved first before any sort of uh, any sort of uh, like division of property can happen. Since, as we saw in the other uh, three planes. The other children of Darius are also still alive, so there's probably some yes, additional. They're uh, not alive in this plane. We could just forget about them. Espen has already said that they're not a very nice family, and if Reg was in charge, he would at least bring a better name than the rest of the family. Well, Espen nice comes- does not mean anything in in name of the law. Uh, you see, they have just as much right. Uh, to ownership as Regulus does, if he is indeed uh, the rightful heir. Espen comes to the door and he's wearing one of the jackets from inside the coat room and says, yes, they are not very nice at all. Yes, and they have legal ownership of the houses in the other planes. Reg can just have legal ownership of this plane's house. Just It's just easier for all of us. <laughs> Instead of go back for, back for... Killing this, yep. killing that. Yep. Milton, you know plain our law doesn't quite work like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Look, look, Bob has an undergraduate in planar law. He can explain it to you in detail. <laughs> I've had to spend two years in Sigil for Christ's sake. Terrible time. Terrible time. What a place. What a place. Um, but yeah, he's, 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 yeah, he's, he's literally, uh, reiterating that, uh, yeah, he, he, uh, He's had to deal with uh, planar problems before. Seems like owners control in in, in, in every area. It's been he's contested many he, times. He's he's basically my legal library. Uh, so there you go. Espen's trying to close the jacket that he got over his rotund belly. And <laughs> see, this is what I always worry about. I, I can never get into anything good for my shoulders, but then it fits me down in the middle. <laughs> Takes it off and he throws it back into the coat room. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and he and he shuts the door on it. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Do we want to um, look in the dance hall to see if we can't find the origin of the music, or perhaps in the main foyer to see if there's uh, an exit to the outside? Uh, that yes, might be good. a good shout. Yeah. Do you want to do the dance hall first? Since we're already here. That, yeah, that makes sense. We'll do that. Do we know what this uh, no. door leads to before we do that? Uh, yeah, you're aware. Well, well you, you've been into things similar before, but yeah, you've uh, yeah, you've not been in that particular room. But yeah, it's uh, it's another offshoot of a room that would be the same sort of size as the ones above. So it's got to be fairly small, whatever it is. But yeah, you haven't been anywhere near, in, anywhere in it. If this is a small room, it might be prudent to check this first. No, up to you. I stand behind you so that light will illuminate when it opens. Oh, it's locked. I've, I've just tried. Can oh, I you already tried. Break it down once again. <laughs> well, one second. Oh, that uh, one. Yeah, Milton, oh, no. Milton goes. Uh, uh, Milton, you, there is a very small privy uh, on the uh, on the other <laughs> side of this uh, 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 other side of this space. Uh, uh, yeah, another uh, another mirrored wall as uh, as you, as you're looking in. But uh, yeah, uh, another privy how, if you needed it. How clean is the mirror? <laughs> uh, in this case, it, it appears to be a very dirty mirror. Yeah. Or really, I, I have another mirror here. This time it's very dirty. Am I getting a ping? <laughs> no, you're not getting a ping off of the uh, uh, off of that at this point. Well, it's it's a 
toilet, Milton doesn't particularly feel like investigating closely. Mm. <laughs> That's what Bob is for. Anyone mats need with, it while we're toilets. here? Yeah, house mats oh, did you toilets, find another actually, restroom? Was... Oh, yes, please. And Espinel will <laughs> excuse himself inside. <laughs> You don't know what's going on with him, okay? He's an old man. He needs to, when, when the opportunity arises, he's got to take advantage. I mean, let's be honest, there's probably been several planes since any of us have peed, so. <laughs> <laughs> I've used a toilet in the Feywild, I have to admit. He's the only one that's gone to the loo consistently. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, Mona, are you spending the time uh, bashing the doors down? Is that uh, the way yeah. this is playing on? Yeah. Okay, no problem. So yeah, I think at this point what we'll do is we will have you guys smashing the doors down into the uh, uh, into the uh, into the space as this is all going on, and uh, you will uh, have these doors all opening up as you can see spectral dancers on the other side of the uh, other side of the space um, ghosts moving in and out of uh, of everything as this is all going on as you guys start to slowly make your way into the space but uh, yeah we will have a quick break here and grab a drink and then uh, we will deal with we will deal with that on the other side so it's it's a bit busted up but yeah I'll, I'll explain what you're seeing here guys yeah so you're seeing the faintest of faintest wisps of dancers running around this space. Um, they are pirouetting and moving around, but um, uh, yeah, it's incredibly vague and intangible. And you can hear the faintest of faintest music um, playing out in the space as this is all going on. Um, but yeah, they're all whistling around and being whisked around the room uh, subtly as this is all going on. But um, yeah, you can hear that same music that you could hear um, less um, distorted here would probably be the best way of putting it, but very, very quiet. Uh, like, uh, yeah, the very binary of the people, they look, they look lovely, but um, yeah, very, very imperceptible, like, like a, a um, just a slight shimmer of the light, if that makes sense. Very, very low level amounts as this is going on in front of you, uh, but they are here spectral dancers moving around the space is music playing absolutely yeah, yeah. Subtly okay, I, I coming from the uh, from a hip yeah it's very it's very it's very low but there is a there is a, a, a nice tune that is playing um one, once more again uh, mona you've heard this one before but um uh, it's clearer here if that makes sense uh, less uh, chaotic in what's going on um, but yeah they're spinning and whisking whisking their way around the room uh, making their way around, dancing as this is all going on. Um, we destroyed a piano. It, it, sorry, is Tech Magic pinging anything in this room? Uh, right now, uh, bear with me. Uh, I don't fades. believe anything is pinging, uh, pinging in that way until you get into the room, Cordelia, and then you look up. There are two, I would say, wisp, wispy shapes that seem to be floating around about 20 or 30 feet up in the air on the balcony above now that seem to be moving around up there but they are they are peeing to your to your detect magic as this is all going on uh these uh, creatures are just yeah they're they're there they're, they're, i guess they're there as a uh, as an effect but it's very wispy very minor right now not a strong it's not a strong pulse if that makes sense of what's going on do they look to be observers or dancers or and it's hard to say. They are. They are. They are like a blue figures above, um, but very wispy, um, very fleeting in what you're seeing. So it's not. It's not easy to tell. Um, rags around the bodies in the moments when you see them, and then they will pass through the wall in the moment and back. And yeah, but they seem to be looking down on the space. This you're picking up where it would be. It would be imperceptible to the others. <laughs> Do they look, um, whereas these spectral figures look quite beautiful, they are, uh, obviously in the attire that they yeah, were they're separated in, finery. in. Yeah. um, do these figures look spooky? <laughs> how, how, yeah, how, I'll, how... I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you that. <laughs> there's not, there's not a lot of them and not, not a lot, a lot to them. Um, but yeah, they definitely look way more spooky than the, these are the ones. 
however, they are as almost as intangible, but that to your 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 detect magic, you can see that they are there, whereas others could would would even would even see would even see that much in the moment, if that makes sense. Uh, I'll just but, inform the rest of the group that there are others, not just those that we can see above on the balcony. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll give you this as well. The music start uh, start as the the dancers start to move around a little bit more. The tempo becomes a little unsettling, as though the band can't decide if the music should be played fast or slow. It becomes more disjointed in the moments as this is going on. Um, uh, it's yeah, it's but it is content. They continue they continue to dance and they seem unaffected. When we were in the Fey, mm -hmm. there was no music. Right. No, it was silent in the uh, in the Fey version of this place. Yeah, there wasn't any uh, anything left in the on that side of things. In the obviously in the shade version, there was the skinless or the uh, the all skin no bones version of the dancers. Music, music there. You're definitely aware of that one. And then here, there seems to be intangible, uh, but with music. Um, I'm going to dodge the dancers and try and get to pia the piano to see if the piano itself is playable. I'm going to uh, hold an action to turn undead if they start being uh, violent towards Astra. Fair enough, uh, as this is all going on. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see that they're all spinning around as this is all going on. Uh, you make your way to it. Uh, it is playing music. Uh, you can definitely tell that that much, Astra, but it is the keys and the actual instrument itself is badly broken, uh, would be the best way of putting it. It has not survived the fall in good shape. But it appears that the music is coming from here. Um, I'm going to check under the hood, so to speak, <laughs> <laughs> um, and see if like the strings inside are vibrating in any way to see if whether or not it seems to be physically playing or whether there's a magical aura kind of thing uh yeah i mean i'll i'll give you this that uh it certainly looks like there is vibrations coming from some of the strings inside it if that's mm -hmm. that's making so for where it's yeah where it's coming from is incredibly strange in that in in that respect as this is all going on um yeah it's but it's yeah obviously clearly divided across the planes might be the best way of uh best way of putting it as this is all going on but it seems like the music's stronger here than it has been in the others if uh, if that makes sense okay so do we destroy it <laughs> she turns to the group like um well the music's definitely coming from the piano um i don't think i can play it in this condition but the uh the hammers are still hitting the strings inside um do we destroy it if we do, does that mean there's a possibility the boneless boys are going to go ape shit on the other side and these guys are going to go shit or will they dissipate? What, what does everyone think? They I have limited out. ability to repair. Um, if we were to make the music better, more accurate, would it appease them more? Maybe help them pass on to their uh, final resting place. Ability? Yeah, how do you want to play it? Uh, I will defer to Cordelia as she deals with the spirits he's uh, just, more often than He's just than away most. at the moment. No. Uh, sorry, I just got back. What did I miss? Ah. <laughs> uh, um, make uh, the so death you... save. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> is, is the piano a mimic? <laughs> yes. Not, not, no. not as well as <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, no, on that front. Nothing no, happened, okay. really. You're fine. Uh, uh, no, they're wondering if we're repairing the piano might be a good idea to help them pass on or whether they have to destroy it. They're just they're sort of um, bowing to your knowledge in some ways, if that makes sense, that they, uh, they're asking your, you the question of whether or not you feel uh, destroy or create or build it might be the ways to help move things on. Well... Usually, simply excising the item uh, that is binding them here tends to uh, solve the problem of passing on. Um, destroying it may just anger the spirits. Shall we try dispelling it first? I and then we can resort to violence if that doesn't work. I if it is that. cursed, I can remove it if we would like to try that as well. Also a good option. Uh, Dispel just magic, magic as I'm next to it. Uh, yeah, absolutely, you can. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, as this uh, all goes on, Astra, uh, you uh, you will cast the spell in the uh, uh, in the moment as this is all going on, and um, 
silence um, drops across the space as uh, a few things happen, no one. Uh, see as the, I believe, the, uh, the appearance of certain beings will change as... Oh, uh, no! Uh, as, uh, uh, as their faces take on an angry, uh, oh, uh, angry looks as you uh, as you do this, uh, we're going to be rolling some initiative uh, as this is all Who going on. Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> uh, on I think on no Ryan. matter what we chose, then I think it would have ended in this. I think now the thing on the shade side will stop, but we have this against us now. I think that's okay. the, the deal. I mean, I don't think we're going to be going back to the shade because I don't think we're welcome anymore. <laughs> I mean, if we house, get rid of this, we, we might be able to leverage this, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe. And return the stolen items. Yeah, oh, and okay. we stole those items. That was another thing. Hmm. Yeah, and we've got things that things going on. That's definitely true. Right, is everybody in the turn order? I believe everybody has rolled. I yeah. rolled a natural uh, 20 for a 19. Oh, I, I rolled a that. natural one. I oh, apparently okay. also rolled a natural 20. <clears throat> Don't know what happened there. <laughs> uh, right, so as all of this goes on, Astra, yeah, you are momentarily, as you see the faces of these things are uh, turning on you as uh, as the music has, uh, has stopped as this is all going on. Um, what do you what do you do in the moments here as this is all uh, as this is all going on? Well, finally, no one is near me. So uh, when I suddenly see these the awful faces of these creatures suddenly <laughs> change, uh, I will uh, create a cloud of daggers around me so no one come near me, but ever but the ones that are near me will suffer. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. If you roll it in, I'll. Uh... Oh no! Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so it's a five foot cube on oh, each side of you. you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So it's a forty-four slashing. So on that one. So okay. So in this case, then, uh, da, 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 uh, when it enters the spell area for the first time, or it starts its turn there. Okay. So that's okay. And we uh, we can bear that in mind as we get to them. Anything else on Astra's turn? No. She is currently just. Shitting herself and making daggers appear. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, uh, this one will be in the, in the range and will be taking the ten uh, off the bat, uh, and then uh, it will attempt to um, um, take you dancing. So uh, let's see how it's going to do uh, with a ghostly touch. Uh, an eighteen uh, on, on the on the attack here, uh, as this is uh, as this is trying to do that. Um, and it's going to begin, uh, begin to uh, attempt to dance with you as you take 12 necrotic damage as this thing uh, uh, goes. You are now also affected by Possessive Partner, uh, which is on this one. So uh, 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 you are now its ill-fated dance partner in the in the moment. So you are now linked as this thing is whisking you up uh, and is uh, about to start t taking, taking you dancing uh, as this is all going... Uh, uh, going on in the moment here. Uh, with that one done, next the creature on the floor above, uh, the wispy, <laughs> what? the wispy ghost that uh, only Cordelia has been able to uh, see so far will uh, will will appear. I love uh, this for the waltz geist. The waltz geist, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it is going to. Do, 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 do. Oh, do, do. What, are what are you doing? Oh. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, it is going to because it notices Cordelia notices it in the moment. It's sort of uh, it's going to sort of spectral, uh, spectrally uh, lash out at you, Cordelia, in the moment as it's going to try and throw you against the walls and sort of like throw you and uh, uh, levitate you. Uh, uh, it's going to try and levitate you up. So let's see. It's got to get you with a spectral levitation first. Let's see how it's going to do. Uh, so you've got to make a constitution uh, okay. saving throw here uh, as this is going on. Oops, sorry. No, that's charisma. I can't save. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay, so you guys watch as Cordelia gets next to next to Espen, gets thrown against the wall, and then and she, she, she's thrown up the wall in the moment, and she takes four bludgeoning damage as, uh, as whatever this thing is uh, uh, lashes out at her in the moment. 
as it sort of laughs gleefully and starts moving around on the on the uh, on the floor above uh, as this is all going on. So yeah, that is all done. Esprin, it is now your turn. Do we see the one upstairs that did this, or has Cordelia even mentioned them, or do we just not know? Yeah, yeah, I mentioned at the beginning that there was other things up on the balcony. Yeah, you know okay, there's it... something up there, but you, you've not been able to see much of it, if that makes sense. Uh, it was just because it was pinging, and now it's sort of glowing a little more brightly as this is all going on. Um, Espen already had his holy symbol gripped for if anything happened to Astra, and he was, like, about to do something, and then he ducks as, like, Cordelia is basically flung at his head. <laughs> Yeah, well. and then um, looks at her, and then and and, and then looks uh, around at the at the dancing um, poltergeist, and just says, uh, "Let the thunder be your partner in this dance of death. May he guide yep. your steps towards whatever you deserve in the afterlife." And he will uh, turn undead. Okay, Blind. Mm, fair that enough. is a DC sixteen, by the way, not fifteen. DC sixteen. Okay. Uh, within 30 feet. Okay, so you can get one. Uh, you can get all the ones on the ground floor. Here. Yeah, I can't definitely. get the one up in the in the balcony. Which is what I was asking. No, but that's uh, that's definitely uh, definitely a thing. So let's uh, let's have a look and see how these are going to do. Save wisdom one, two, three, four, five, seven of them. Oh, double ones. Yeah. Fail. Uh, fail. Oh. Fail. I'm just use the poison oh condition to make it the uh, make it a thing. Fail. Okay. Fail. Fail. I think they're all, all, Fail. all are failing. What a bunch of losers. That's been so <laughs> good. That's been so good at turning. He did this last time, and all of them failed as well. Um, so yeah. uh, if they are a CR one or below, they are actually instead of turned, they are destroyed. One second. I don't know what their CR rating is. Off the top. Oh, they are a CR two, so they are not. Well, uh... That doesn't work. Oh well. <laughs> Anyway, um, Rubbish. so then that means that they, I believe, <laughs> uh, for its action, they can only use the dash action to go away from me, and they also do not have reactions. Reactions, as this is going on. Okay, fair enough. No problem. Uh, right. Okay. So that makes these these turns nice and easy. They make they make the way across the room as far as they can from you. As Did they we figure out away. If if turn and dead's movement triggers opportunity attacks because it's on their turn isn't it so i don't really know well if they're using their action to do it if forced movement is when you do something that knocks something back and they don't use an action or reaction or anything to move that's true yeah it is it does it does sort of seem to go down that go down that route doesn't it um, um so in theory I, astri you would certainly get an attack um mona was there well, one I, within 10 feet of you i wouldn't have had a reaction yet because i haven't had a tune also ah, if, that's very valid they, if they pass through my daggers are they also getting uh toys? yes yeah they would i'm going to i'm going to give two of them uh, a, a bit of that just as a, as so a get 10 on that. yeah i'll uh, i'll definitely do a bit of that as a as a note as they all move and dance away to the far end of the room as this is all going on uh, uh, Var uh, Varia will uh, make her way up into the room next to Espen and just be holding, uh, uh, holding for a moment, and then she will see Astra is uh, uh, is hurt, so she will run over and she will okay. attempt to use a uh, a potion spell of hers to uh, to help heal you a little bit, as uh, you'll be regaining seven Astra. Going on. That the cloud of daggers hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that it sheer sure would. would. Yeah, she know. wouldn't. She would know. She would know. She goes to run past me, and Aspen <laughs> and then, just like, grabs her shoulder and shoulder and, in and, the moment and, and stops her. Yeah. Uh, and then and then yeah, and she goes whoa as she spots the as she spots the blades. Uh, that absolutely <laughs> makes perfect sense. Mona, yeah. though, yeah, I believe um, it is officially your we, turn. We do have Cordelia over here who is knocked like I guess <laughs> wall or something. Oh no. Yeah, maybe give her. that seven to her instead of me. Is yeah, fair, 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 fair. Yeah. and she <laughs> thinks uh, she can uh, help out in other ways, so no problem. Uh, um, Mona, round to you. Um, As a free action, um, Espen will say, they will flee until they take damage, so do not attack multiples if you can help it. Okay. Uh, yeah, two of them, in theory, through the blades, then did take damage and are no longer, are no longer affected. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Mona will... Uh, cut her other arm and activate the right of dawn instead of the thunder damage and she will attack this one right in front of her mm -hmm. 
23 for 11. Plus uh, two, 2d6 because it's an undead. Oh, okay. <clears throat> plus 10. Radiant one second, damage. One second. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, you're doing slashing damage. Uh, okay, yeah, you uh, yeah you do do it, uh, but it is not as effective as you would expect uh, yeah. as you're as you're piercing through these things. That's fine. Um, again, oh oh, sixteen. Uh, sixteen will definitely hit. Uh, For and then another six radiant damage on top. Uh, no problem. Yeah, you think it, the radiant does more than your uh, than your blade attacks in the moment as this is going on. So uh, yeah, you uh, these spectral forms are uh, yeah are quite light as this is all going uh, as this is all going on. That's it. Okay, no problem. That is done. Spectral dancer. Ah, it's one of the ones uh, that is freed from the thing. It will move over to Mona and will attempt to. Have you dance? Uh, so let's see how it's going to do. Ghostly touch, incoming uh, seven. Uh, so yeah, no, uh, nothing, uh, nothing happens uh, uh, in the moment with that. That is officially done. Uh, ah, the other one. Okay, uh, the other one over on this side uh, will uh, be making its way over. Then let's see how it's going to do. Walls, guys, it's just uh, such a cool name. I know, I love it. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, it's going to attempt to spectrally levitate you uh, into the, into the uh, into the air as this is all going on. Um, you've got to make, Mona, you've got to make a yeah, con save as this is going on. Yeah. Nope. Oh yeah, no, you uh, you hold your ground uh, absolutely uh, no problem as this is all going on. Uh, you are okay as that is all going on, bringing us to Milton's turn. Yes, okay. Um, oh, I really want a fireball, but it's so it's such a bad idea. <laughs> Give it to it just for this moment. Yeah. <laughs> I can take yeah. it. I'm holding four of them at bay. Fireballing would completely negate that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. burning also, down the house is one solution to our problem. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's the other thing. Like, this is... Yeah, this will probably destroy the house that I'm not down with that. Um, <laughs> but it's nice so, to know you've got a nuke on you when you need it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, so I will walk up, slash it with my rapier, and add uh, some divine uh, smite energy. On no of, problem, yeah. Uh, you the, feel like the actual blades were not very good, but uh, let's see how your divine smite does. Uh, James, my... The, my weapon is magical. If that changes anything, but I do, not that it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, fair enough. It's not, it's not, it's not non-magical damage. Yeah, it's just, that's uh, fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. Distance. Just, just make, just letting you. Know. That's all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it had uh, so few hit points. Uh, it is now no longer a part of this realm, Milton. As, uh, uh, as your <laughs> radiant damage goes off from, uh, from that one. Good. Anything else on uh, Milton's turn? Is this going on? <sighs> I'll take like a couple of steps back. <clears throat> oh, okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, this one is still being held at bay. Cordelia, round to you. Um, she's going to get up as she was rudely pushed against a wall. She'll uh -huh. just shake herself off a little bit, like touch up the hair. Um, <laughs> and then she's going to wander over here. What is the distance? Uh, on people this? need to stop um, being so close to me. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, of yeah, both of you are absolutely being diced to death. I, right? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, we'll move the yeah. <laughs> we, we need a, a template or something around you. Yeah, it needs to yeah. it needs to show something a bit more than it does. Um, but yeah, no problem. Yeah, so but you you guys are aware of the daggers. That's definitely true. Um, she will just look annoyed at the situation. She didn't like being pushed over. That was rude. Mm -hmm. And she will just look up at both of them and reach out a hand and she will cast Banishment, but she will twin spell it targeting both of them. Very nice, very nice. Okay, yeah. Charisma say. Oh, I don't think Charisma is going to be these guys uh, uh, top notch on this one. Well, Let's see. Lack of decorum specters is not welcome here. Be gone. And second. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, baby! <laughs> as uh, as uh, as uh, Cordelia will banish these guys to whatever godforsaken realm uh, that uh, they, they these things are now 
gone as a sort of and then no, they're, I, they're, I, they're vaporized in the moment. This is what Cordelia just, does. This is her, yeah. her, this is her, this is her calling card. <laughs> Uh, she just needs to concentrate on that for a minute, and then they're gone for good. Very nice, very nice. Uh, so yeah, as this is all going on, uh, back to the top of the tunnel by Astra. Uh, you know, you know, you've filled a blade there. You can see there's a few things uh, welled, things are banished. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on in the room, but uh, things changed very quickly in very few moments as, the, uh, as this is all going on. Okay, first thing first, I'm going to healing word myself, uh, because... She would have seen the sweet acolyte come to help her and then be disappointed when realized, oh, that can't be. So I will healing word myself. Be nice. Okay, and get a four. As low as possible. Delightful. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'll do. Uh, I don't really want to get closer to damn things. Um, because uh, that was a bonus action, I guess I'll just. Uh, Vicious Mockery, that one uh, that's in front of me. And cool. I'll just say, Are you sure you've got a right foot and a left foot? Looks like you've got two left feet to me. And that'll be <laughs> Okay, let's see how it's going to do. Save. Both Drew and Cordelia snigger at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah you, uh, you definitely uh, uh, make it make it think it rethink its choices in life. Or it's on life. Uh, yeah, it definitely it seems sufficiently uh, sufficiently mocked at the moment, um, and is uh, yeah whirling away at the wrong end of the space, uh, bringing us to a uh, feared one that will not be moving. Uh, this guy, however, is uh, banished away. So Espen, it's around to you. Espen will uh, come up next to Cordelia and bark a laughter and say, "Ha! Banishment, genius." Do you think that you can uh, manage the rest of this battle without uh, harming anyone else? I think you and I need to more focus on our concentration. And he will cast Sanctuary on you. Oh, very nice. Okay, Uh, anything else on Espen's turn? I don't believe so. The light and the dark are working together. Absolutely. (laughs) Beautiful thing. Uh, on this one, okay, uh, this one can move. He, he has had a, been affected by things, so this oh, one... Oh, that, sorry, I apologize. That was a bonus action, so... Yeah, if you've um, got more, go for it. Yeah, I, I guess is... I will go ahead and Sacred Flame, the one that's uh, looking like they're about to move up. Is oh. Turn Undead concentration? It is not. Oh, amazing. I, I, I looked it up to make sure. <laughs> um, so, um, beefy damage, actually... Hang on a second. Ow. Good save, though. Oh, shucks. Well, then never mind. I have a, a thing. Hold, please. Um, <laughs> Blessed Strikes, which adds a D8. Um, so I got to remember to roll that as well on top of my stuff. So, okay, But I didn't enough, get it, so enough. it doesn't doesn't yeah, matter. Not that time. Not time, time but other times it will be pertinent. Uh, okay, so yeah, with that done, Espen, this one uh, will come up and beginning to attempt to do its... Uh, uh, it's bit here on that front, as it's going to attempt to go for Mona once more, uh, but not with a six. So uh, uh, the dancers are not doing much. I think I believe the rest are. That one is. Oh, this one. That one is technically uh, technically fine. So this one will attempt to make you. Someone's going to try and get you to dance, <laughs> or not? No. Uh, oh no. <laughs> uh, feared. Feared. Acolyte uh, is, is just taking it in right now. Mona. Yep. Yeah, I'll just attack the one that I attacked last time. Oh, definitely. Uh, uh, definitely hit. 10 radiant damage on top. Uh, the 10 is enough to finish that second one off. Okay. Disappearing into the ether. And then I will turn and attack this one. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And that one had so little hit points left, it's uh, uh, ridic- it was yeah. ridiculous. So yeah, as you're striking these things down in the moment. Um, and that's all, all I can do now. Okay. Oh, I'll just move away slightly. I'll move yeah, in front no of problem. Cordelia. Just... Uh, Milton, I believe it is your turn next. Four feared um, dancers left in the, uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the place. Oh, I think you muted Seb. And the the Wald's geists are nowhere to be seen, right? No, no. At the moment, they seem to be uh, seem to be gone. I think it's probably something like 
to camera, it looks like Cordelia's eyes are black as uh, as she's as she's banished them off or something. Yeah, just speaking in tongues. Yeah, her eyes are pitch black while Espen holds up like the his holy symbol towards the others. It would make for cool fan art. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Yes, sir, I, man. I will. Eldritch, <laughs> I will Eldritch blast this one. Okay. Since they all seem to be. So first one. Oh shit! Uh, I forgot to target. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, but in this case, uh, a thirteen will definitely hit, and you do thirteen damage. Very nice. Second blast. Oh, and you unfortunately you miss with the second. Yeah. Okay, that uh, but that does remove that. And next on the list is Beard One Cordelia. It is back to you. Um, as this is all going on. Um, I am still constrained. Do I have to? Do I still get actions and stuff when I'm concentrating on this? Uh, let me just check. Um, I mean, you do, but as long as you don't do yeah, you're, a yeah, spell you're just that's going to take you just your... can't do another thing concentrating. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... But also, if you attack anything, uh, Sanctuary Oh, yeah. Land. Yeah, Sanctuary Land. Okay, um, I'll just take the dodge action then. Okay, no problem. Astra, round to you. I'm, again, just going to hurl insults at... <laughs> You're going to continue to mock. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I Those was... shoes with that dress? Uh, I think this one's going to be more... Um, I thought dancing was supposed to be a delicate sport. I've heard elephants make less noise than you. Ooh. Ooh. Burn. I grew up in... I grew up dancing. I know all the insults. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And in this case, uh, their wisdom is a seven, so they will take another <laughs> yeah. two psychic damage as, uh, as you, as you, yeah, mock their, a... their very existence now. Uh, there's all that's left of them. Or that a pirouette that's more a plie. <laughs> burn! Uh, <laughs> burn, burn, burn. Okay, uh, Espen, you are technically next on the list. Espen will um, uh, nod to Cordelia and, and step in front of her in case anything tries to interpose. Um, I can tell which ones are no longer fearful of my turning, right? Yeah, there's this one. one, one only one of them is, uh, is unfeared right now. That's all I want. Sacred Flame. Scablamo. Okay. Yeah, it's going to do. For 15. Uh, nice it will not do. It will not be doing that. It will take the fall. Anything else? Uh, I have a bonus action, but I can't really do much with it. So I will say that I'm still just holding up my holy symbol at the feared ones. Okay. No problem. No problem. A couple of dead ones. Uh, this one can make its way over. And it will attempt to get you to dance. As you've been so insistent, uh, Espen, in this case. Uh, uh, improved warding flare. Okay, no problem. No touch. Uh, <laughs> no touch, no touch. No, yeah. no touch. Uh, on that one. Uh, you impose disadvantage taking a crit uh, of ghostly touch to a 14. Uh, Which is good, but unfortunately, since I still have damaged armor, that hits. Okay, but you Wait, instead of no. taking fifteen plus twelve no. reaction, <laughs> I will make it lower. Oh, Mona will curse it. Ooh. I will then take three three away from it. Uh, that makes it a miss. Hey, there you go. So yeah, with the Mona's eyes in the moment. bleeding again. Oh, down, down the <laughs> <laughs> so Espen, twelve damage Espen is not. It's not. Oh, fifteen damage is not bad thing. Yeah. No, it's not. Es so Espen flares this thing's eyes, and it still manages to get through. But then all of a sudden, its eyes start bleeding, and then it misses. Whoa. As all the powers are brought <laughs> to brought to bear, starts coming out of its eyes. All four mm -hmm. of them. Okay, next one is feared. Uh, Acolyte. Uh, did anyone anyone looking particularly bad? Uh, Astra, you are, but you're still surrounded by blades uh, on that front. No, she's going to hold back and help if she can when time comes. But Mona, round to you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, b bonus action. I will uh, mark it and I will amplify it. So I will take four damage. Okay. <laughs> Minus four, not plus four. Uh, so I get advantage on this attack. Better nine. Thank god I did that. Um, mm -hmm. 14 plus 2d6 radiant damage and a d6 uh, 
Yeah, it's, uh, that's a more, uh, it's absolutely enough to uh, 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 dissipate <clears throat> another spectral dancer. Okay, uh, and I'm just assuming we're going to be picking these off one by one, so I'll target that one. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh uh, no! It's still pretty. Oh. Uh, oh, the next attack roll. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Fourteen plus two d six. Radiant damage, so... 14 plus 4. Okay. Another 4 on top. Okay. Right, so that should be you. That is good. Next on the list. Uh, that one is gone. That one is gone. Milton, it is actually you. And this one is uh, no longer fear. Okay, so on this one, then I will cast Eldritch Blast twice. Oh. Yeah, I think the target is the next one. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But 11 Did force just damage. Explode? <laughs> uh, he certainly, he certainly uh, was was uh, was attempting to destroy something um, and then the on that one. one. And you, you yeah, you, you you've killed that one. That one is done. So you can target a different one. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, oh, but unfortunately, it's a it's a miss in the in the moment. Okay, bringing us to a spectral dancer that is feared. Cordelia, it's round to you. Uh, dodge action. Okay, Astra. Uh, I'm yelling abuse again. <laughs> You're yelling abuse, okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, oh, uh, you call that? Um, you call you call those elegant hands more like by the legs. That's that's something I I used to get told a lot. Anyway, uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, wisdom save incoming. Is it good, bad, or indifferent? No, uh, it was a weak. It, it, no, it was a weak, weak mock anyway. They can. <laughs> it was a weak. I mock accept that. that. Okay, uh, it is still feared. Espen, you are next. Espen just says, uh, "You heard the lady. Your your legs. They are they are terrible." <laughs> sacred, sacred flame. <laughs> your legs. They are terrible. Uh, okay, make the save. And in this case, it's going to. Roll a 16. Yeah, meet to beat. Meet some beats. Okay. Any more for any more from Espen? Um, I will just uh, move forward a little bit more to again. Oh, I can't move there because of daggers. Fuck daggers, man. Mm. Uh, I will just move there instead um, to interpose myself somewhat even more between these potential foes and Cordelia. Okay. Fair enough. Acolyte will hold for now. Mona, it is officially your turn again. Oh, okay. Uh, the target oh, no, is a dwindling need... and some are banished. <laughs> I don't need to go that far. I can go from here. Uh, yep. I'll just attack. Uh, absolutely. Five more radiant damage. Oops. Five radiant on top. Okay. Uh, it's just enough. That time. You had exactly okay. the right number of hit points there. So that's yeah. good luck. And then I will target this one. Does, did that uh, 13 that hit? 13 does hit. Okay, I think that target should have gone through, but I can't do the crimson right damage through the target. So an extra three. Another, an extra three on top. Okay. Uh, that is that. You are done. Next on the list then, Milton, I believe. Okay. I Yeah, I'll guess. One target left, as far as you can see. Yeah, once again, Eldritch Blast twice. Uh, Need animations for ten force. Okay, yeah, it's a nice Eldritch blast. Uh, it's still yeah. just up after the first one. However, yeah. the second one, uh, it is uh, the officially the dancers are no more. Yeah. And silence will take the dance floor as this is all going on. Well done. Okay. And with it, uh, a good turn undead holding the back and a banishment. Yes. Uh, the problem of the of the dance floor um, seems to be alleviated relatively quickly as this is all going on. Uh, I drop. My daggers, they are gone. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And at that point, you get a cure wounds from uh, you. Uh, from the from from the halfling. Uh, so you get four four points back, and says, "You okay?" Yeah, yes, I uh, came out better than I thought I would. So can't complain. Yeah, yeah those blades are pretty vicious. Uh, she yeah, sort of looks about uh, <laughs> looks about them and, uh, on that one. She's like yeah, a little bit taken aback by that on that front. Uh, um, stab them up, good, huh? It works. Cordelia, that was quite impressive. Oh, thank you. I know. 
Uh, right, yeah. So yeah, the dance floor is silent now. There is yeah, no music coming from anything. Uh, yeah, the uh, the space uh, seems a bit. I think what we have, what we have is a sort of a scene of sort of the the tongues stopping and uh, yeah, the banishment completes Cordelia and uh, yeah, you know you've sent them, you've sent them away for probably for good. Esmond's walking off and Cordelia can probably just hear. Oh, Espen, your protection was great, too. Oh, no, it's fine. Don't worry. That's just the thunder. Oh, no, you, you did great as well. No, it's fine. <laughs> but the bailiff is back. The bailiff is back? Oh, my God. Why, why, why is Mr. Mr. Espen talking to himself? Espen goes and uh, opens the door. Well, I had to put those spirits somewhere, and I'm afraid he was the closest body. <laughs> oh, my God. This is like oh, my God. I'm guessing this door is locked. Well, yeah, yeah, the, the door you do go up to, Espen, does appear to be locked, but you have a big sledgehammer. Uh, I do not have a big sledgehammer. I say, uh, Mona, we have a, another locked door if you would like to take care of it with my hammer. Like you, you see, like, Mona with the sledgehammer, like, lifting it up near the piano? Do ah. <laughs> okay. She'll put it down and go to the door. Okay, yes. Door and... You start smashing doors, no problem. Uh, the door gives way easily into a large sort of hallway area uh, as this is all going on. Um, but yeah, it seems uh, uh, there are broken and tattered pictures all across the ground as far as you can see of uh, paintings, etc. in this corridor. Uh, and the tiling is all busted up as uh, uh, as this is all going on. But Any um, of Regulus? Any photos uh, of Regulus? Uh, uh, hard to say, but make a... Uh, make a Perception check, I guess. Let's see, uh, or an investigation check, either uh, or. Or any of uh, Kryn's wife as well, since she always wears a mask. Uh, as this is going on, with a fourteen, uh, uh, as this is going on, um, you, uh, I mean, the, they seem to be a lot of them have succumbed to water damage and bits like that. You have to assume that uh, these were once depicting members of the Corvanaris family, um, but you don't see Regulus in them or. Uh, any of the ones that you've seen before that you recognize and until you sort of see like a pair of um, uh, red arms or uh, something like that from one of them that you must you must assume must be a, a, a sort of someone with a, of of tiefling origin uh, is, is in one of the pictures but has been badly the picture is badly ruined uh, okay uh, yeah, there are many, many doors leading off of this corridor in 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 many different directions. But which which, which ways are you thinking of going? So that's one job taken care of. Where what what other things do you, we need to do in this plane? Well, if I it... have my bearings right, I think to the north of us is where the reverie would be if we were in the Fey. It goes. If you've got your bearings right, it's also where the, do the well, spec. not for you, but for the others, you would be the the dining room where you had the. The portal oh, to the yeah, to the shade world originally this, would be uh, would be very very close by. Doors probably, yeah. Yeah, if your if your bearings the, are correct. Go to the, the revel reek here is those spectres that we fought and we had yes, to, uh, this we had to go through the portal the first time and they they were not <clears throat> that was not a good time. I would rather avoid that for as long as we can. We could open that door, Melton can fireball it, fireball it, and then we can shut that door. They, they didn't appear until we were in the room, and then they locked the room. Also, if I remember, I... they were able to absorb most, like, energy yes. things. Okay, uh, yep, I forgot about so... that. <laughs> bit trauma flashbacks. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Espen, what they're talking about, you only ever had described but to you by Usk as, as to what they were up to. You didn't actually ever get to see it, but uh, yeah, you only kind of like uh, that, that they were in danger in that room and that was, there was there were beings in there that were causing them trouble. But yeah, you never actually got the whole the whole spiel. You only got the the play by play from Usk instead uh, back in yeah. the day. Well, if you feel that we are not prepared to take on such a challenge perhaps we should uh, go elsewhere in the house see what else we can find we still do not know where the lady's room is we're still looking for her personal effects yes mm. i honestly thought you meant toilet for a second <laughs> i was really confused <laughs> oh the ah. lady's room. <laughs> i was very confused no i already went but if you need to there's one <laughs> we just over there we could try the attic because the the guards were guarding it last time and i'm assuming there's no guards here we could see what was originally up there in this plane and see if it's worth us going there in the shadow plane, even though I, I don't think we'll make it through that house without uh, 
at least a fight of some sort. Okay, you so are we free, want... Yeah, you are free to move as you see fit. Yeah, you are... So you we want are, the attic can... for curiosity's sake. We need to yep. find the ladies' chambers to find more of her stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, possibly the wraith thing if suddenly people fight, get, uh, get brave. And any documentation that Regulus wants to prove his ownership rights. So those are our targets. I think for this house. Uh, yeah, fair, fair, fair comment so far. That's certainly, certainly true. There's yeah, a lot never... of places of the uh, of this house that you've not explored. You know that much. We were never told where Elsa's room would be, were we? No, no, no. You, sure. you don't know that uh, that information. It would have been a childhood room. Uh, whether that would give you a hint of, it's not going to be one of the most formal rooms of the house, but it would probably be in a nicer part of the house. It that much you might be able floor. to get. And um, what milk, what was in the know? attic? Oh, yeah. We don't know. We tried to go in there. And I know, and, and I thought um, the lady said what was up there that we can't go up, or did she just basically say don't go up there? I think she just said you were don't snooping. We said no, we weren't, and then she went okay, chill, and then we moved on. Is this yeah. the front? We didn't go anywhere. Is this the front door, James? Down here? Yeah. Yes, there appears to be a large front door of the uh, of the foyer. Uh, You've seen the foyer many times in many versions, but yeah, uh, uh, this one certainly, uh, yeah, when you originally arrived here, the, uh, the, the the locked door of the front was uh, was there at the time, and uh, yeah, the sledgehammer wasn't used back in the <laughs> uh, in the first episode, but uh, uh, it is still still there, and uh, as as it, as you're looking, Espen uh, spots that and and uh, places a hand on Mona's shoulder and says, "Do you mind if we uh, see if we can exit that way?" Get back was, to the carriages. I was just about to say, what did you want to send your acolyte home? That's precisely why I want to find a way out of the house. Yes. Between you and me, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Cordelia wanted to use her as a sacrifice. What? <laughs> you didn't hear me. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I cast the stink eye at Cordelia and then I, then I go. <laughs> She's just nonchalantly looking at some of the portraiture on the walls, like, hmm. <laughs> She's having what's, a great time. What's funny is that Varya is probably looking at you admirably because you're so pretty. <laughs> oh. Wait, hang on. James, what, roll what an insight check. Be? Roll, roll a, an insight check for Varya, please. Okay, one second. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let's see how Varya does on an insight. Uh, Never mind. She absolutely what? knows what you tried to do, and she's looking at you with the stink eye, too. I mean, she stabbed me in the shins. She had it coming. That is true. That is true. That is true. So yeah, the large foyer uh, is there, and there seems to be the large sets of doors that you've seen previously. Uh, where was the nice sign-in table and all the rest of it on, in one in the shadow world? Here is a broken chandelier over the top of what would have been a table at one point. Um, yeah, it, it's in a it's in a terrible, terrible state. Uh, uh, as this is all going on. But there are a set of sturdy doors there in front of you. Aspen will open the doors if he can. Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's a struggle, but it's easier to do on this side. Uh, I'm going to say it takes a little bit of time because uh, it's not uh, <laughs> not so straightforward. The thing that was barring the door is on this side anyway, so it's easier. Um, but yeah, you managed to push open and revealing the outside of the space um, uh, it, it, uh, as this is all going on. And the quote unquote light of the day it's not the brightest but it is at least home and, and the air of home if if in a spooky forest yes yeah, so Espen uh, walks outside and he is notice noticeably like relieved uh, attention leaves his shoulders he kind of looks up to the sky lets what sunlight's there actually hit his face and then and then turns to Vary and says you know you cannot remain it is too dangerous for you oh we haven't we we, but we haven't found what we, we, we will. There was things here. There might be more things here. We haven't. We haven't been around it all. Come on. It's not. Whatever things remain, if Regulus is truly the heir, I'm sure we can speak to him once it is all settled. But you, you already were in, put in too much danger. You have to go. Sure. I mean, you need help sometimes. Are you going to make um, a persuasion check to try and uh, yeah to, to try and force it? Uh, I suppose I, it'll be I, question or I will, and and I will. Use guidance because I really want okay, this to work. No problem. No problem. All right. Uh oh. 
Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to roll says... a flat, flat yeah, d20 go ahead. and just say. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> uh, I, you, you, you can surely I can I can be a, I, I've got some skills. I've, uh, I've helped you out here. Surely I can sort of tag along for one trip around this place. Come on, it's not. Uh, do you really need something from home right now? Do you need to send me away? Fine. But any obvious danger and you have to go and no more going to the other realms. When we leave this one, you go home. Okay. Okay. I'll just stay with you in here in the material, and then yeah, if you go through one of the portals, yeah, I don't, I, I don't really want to go back to the Fey. Understandable, yeah. but uh, you Deal? have Deal. proved yes, you have proven yourself capable, and I am proud of you. But I worry, and I just can't help it. Uh, forgive me that. Okay. And I go back That's and I get, I give her a hug. <laughs> She willingly accepts the hug uh, on that one, and she says, You can't have all the fun. You think this is fun, though? Youth is wasted on the young. Come, now, and please stay close. Yeah, and she nods, and uh, yeah, they, uh, they, she follows you back in uh, as this go, go, goes on. I give uh, Mona a, a, a glance and kind of a, a little shrug. <laughs> we'll keep her alive. Um, when, uh, when you two are outside, can you give me a perception check, please? Yes, I can. Of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. And what about for, for her? Does she get? Yeah, does, yeah, she, does she, she roll another natural twenty? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna roll, make a make a roll on it. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah. Let's see she's, how she's, she's going. She's the one who wanted to stay around to be useful. Oh wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fair enough on that one. Um, yeah. As uh, before, you guys start heading back in. She goes. Is that is that one of our is that one of our carts? And she sort of points off to something off in not too dis far distant, but where not too far away, but something that looks like uh, uh, one of the carts uh, uh, not too far away. Um, not quite where you guys parked it originally. Aspen kind of went to that and says, yes, but we we left them there. At, um, the um, fog is mm -hmm. quite thick as things are going on, so it's yeah, not um, perfect vision. Mona, uh, I believe our carts have been moved. Uh, Milton, looks like yours i don't even see yours and i, I step back outside I'm, I'm sure it's around here somewhere my my uh <laughs> my my back donkeys mules i don't for, i don't actually know <laughs> what, what they, i don't remember what they were uh and i'll call yeah, their names to abaddon behemoths go come over here darlings <laughs> whereas espen calls out for betsy bruce come here because they're brothers and sisters. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, no, it's not, silent, only silence uh, uh, returns to you uh, as as all this is going on. Well, it appears as if some thieves have been uh, around. No worries. I have ways of getting back at them in the, in, the, in the, some time. Well, we never tied down the horses when we left. We should probably do that. Uh, Espen would like to go to the cart that he brought and... Uh, lead the horses back over in this direction so we can tie them off. Um, you make your way over to where the where this cart is, um, this shape. Um, as you get closer, you realize, hmm, okay, this is not a cart in, a, in good condition as you, uh, as you make your way over. No sign of any horses or, uh, or uh, animals as you start looking at it. Um, and then you realize, oh, no, this is way older. This is not... Uh, is not your cart as you're as you're looking at it in the moment. Oh no. Um, the, the, I guess perhaps our horses led the carts away. Uh, this is not ours. This is was this here when we got here, James? No, no, there was nothing like that uh, out front when you when you arrived. But it's old, right? Oh yeah. Espen goes quiet. Um, and he starts searching the 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 cart, uh, holding up his holy symbol to give himself light. Uh, Looking for anything identifiable. I will give myself yeah, guidance fair to enough. do this. This investigation, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm not good at that, so. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, whatever this 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 um one is one is, it's an awful, terrible condition. Uh as as you're looking it over. Uh uh it seems like it's weathered and beaten and has just basically rotted away. Uh, over time, uh, in, yeah, a cart in terrible, terrible disrepair. Hmm. Um, 
Varia, go, go get Astra. She's an investigative reporter. She might have better eyes than my old ones. Uh, yeah, yeah she, she runs in, and uh, Astra, yeah, you make your way uh, make your way out as, uh, as this is all going on, and Esperin sort of uh, asks to pull you over to uh, uh, over to uh, what is a wreck of a cart. Uh, might be the best way Ooh. of putting it. I, I hold up the holy symbol and put shine light on it. And says, "I can you make any sense of this? I, I can't. This wasn't here when when we arrived." Where's our stuff? Like with the blind thing? Did I put them? No, I did not. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, persuasion for some reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I will so you give you the help. I will give you the help action too. Uh, Eighteen. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Espen, what does she find on that cart that would give it away as being the wreck of your one? Uh, she rode in front with me while, uh, while kind of dozing and sleeping, and uh, Espen was beginning to whittle a new holy symbol for his acolyte, and he had been talking about her on the ride up, and it's a half, uh, it's a very crude, um, statuette of Lathander that's about three inches tall. Um, it's about carved uh, halfway, so the bottom of it's just a block of wood, but the top of it has uh, um, a little bit of a cape and a little bit of a, a longer um, cloak with, like, a hood. Um, but yeah, he de she definitely remembers him working on this, because he was nervous. He had nervous energy on the way up. Fair enough, oh. fair enough. Uh, I'm going Astrid. to say, in this case, uh, Astra Jess, can you roll me a d10, please? Nice. Okay, fair enough. A very wet, weathered, strained piece of wood uh, carved into a rough shape of Lathander. Uh, you do find in amongst this wreck of a uh, of a cart, and it triggers a memory of yeah. Espen was working on something like this when when you guys arrived on the way up. You met you were sleepy, but you do remember parts of the journey. She's gonna pull it out look at it and then sort of turn to Espen with her eyes wide and just show it to him and go I think we've been here longer than we thought my boss is really gonna fire me now <laughs> oh, well, what do you mean this is that little model of Lathander you were whittling and it looks like it's at least I don't know 50 years old or something I don't know what? it certainly no, looks no, wet no. and weathered yeah it looks yeah, wet and um, weathered I, I take it and I, I look at it, and James, with my uh, carpentry background, would I mm -hmm. know how much this uh, has aged? Uh, well, it's certainly been out in the rough for many seasons. You would put it in those terms, you would be aware of. No, this is much longer than a, a day or two. This has been out here for many, many years, exposed to the elements. That's not possible. We've only been here a few days. I think time works differently when you go through those portals. And then Esmond gets a real dark look in his face and he goes, For Celeste, we never should have trusted the devil. Control over this. I mean, the people who are trapped in the other portals haven't aged since the house disappeared and everything. I, that, I wouldn't rush to conclusions that it's his fault. I don't trust the man, but I don't think he's powerful enough to control time in that fashion. <laughs> Astor, I know that you are concerned for those in Averly, and I am too, but my flock is Ferncomb. I, I don't know in what state they are in now. I, I, I don't know how long I've been gone. I don't know if I can stay. I think first things first, we need to let the others know. They, they also may have a desire to get out of here when they find out. He, he nods, and he's very consternated, very deep in thought, and he will follow you back in. Okay. So yeah, I think we'll, we'll uh, have a, a scene here, I think, of you guys sort of bringing, bringing it up to speed that things seem odd within the house or in the realm of the house, and time may not be quite changing or moving as, uh, as quite as people think right now. Uh, yeah, you don't know by how much or by how little, um, but yeah, I think it, it, these, these are the sort of things we'll have to figure out next time because I think we're going to need to to know what re how Regulus will react as well to some of this news. As uh, yeah, we will find out truly what's going to be going He's on next like time. <laughs> 50 what years. did I miss? Oh, by the way, this. Um, I, see I see Regulus coming in uh, like the Thor Ragnarok movie where Loki just drops out of the ceiling. Up. Yeah, <laughs> and that's where I imagine when he's stuck in these portals, he's just falling. 
I've been falling like for a half hour. <laughs> a full full half hour. Um but yeah, no, we will we will pick up from here next time uh, on that front. But yeah, we are uh, we'll we'll hold there and uh, yeah, and we'll see what's uh, what's going on.